When Bob joins, why don't you guys tell me what you want us to look at? Pick a topic, we'll pick a video. There he is, I see you, Bob. How you doing today, sir? Oh, not too bad, my man. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, how, how have you been, man? Long time. We haven't talked in a minute. Yeah, we haven't. How have you been? We just had to cancel our Florida vacation, man. Ah, uh, man, I'm sorry to hear that, Bob. Sorry to hear that. Fucking... Well, it's just You're one of a those doctor. Things. You're a doctor. Perfect person to have on during this crisis to give us some actual information. I am. I hope so. I've been telling everybody well, that. Oh, I play one on I play one on YouTube. You do a hell of a job. <laughs> oh, thank you much. Thank you much. Yeah, it's uh, kind of gotten interesting here. We got about 550 cases now here in Michigan. We're trying to trying to go for the top five in the country, I think. They're all down by Metro Airport, and then everybody came home to the rest of the state and happily spread it along out here, too. Yeah, people just don't understand that. Like, I'm... I watched a video of the of the like uh, the spring breakers going down, and they're just like, then nothing's gonna stop oh, my spring break. Idiots. And I'm like, hold on, Bob. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't allow you to say that without doing that as well. We have to make sure we do right. them properly. So uh, yeah, All right. I will always catch up. Yeah, you just, you just let the idiots. Yeah, yeah you let the bad. idiots fly, and I'll keep. I'll keep up with you. <laughs> Idiot, right. idiot, idiot, idiot. Unfortunately, I can't ding it until the ding finishes. There we go. I, uh, idiot, okay. idiot, idiot, four of them. Hold on. Two, three. Ooh, got some good music. Can you hear the music, Bob? Yeah, sure can. It's kind of kind of nice smooth vibe. jazz type stuff. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm kind of feeling that. So, Bob, what are you feeling like looking at tonight? You want to watch some panic buying videos with me or... Uh, sure. Let's look. Let's look at some people doing some dumb shit on the internet. Give me one well, second. Well, you know, to... I'll tell you something. One of the things I really like is Florida Man. Yeah. You ever see Florida Man? Oh yeah. And uh, oh, I like yeah. sovereign. You know, I like sovereign citizens, and I like panic buying, and you know, it's just kind of fun to do it. Hey, hey, chill. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna find us some good uh, some good videos. Let's see. What? Uh, uh, Twitter. Let's see. What's this? Anacito, Dr. Bob for president. I ran for the house, man. They didn't. I lost by seven votes. Well, originally I had found some good panic buying videos, but I guess the thread has gone to memes. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what happens on Twitter is if a thread starts becoming popular, people just K-pop meme it and uh, but just put a bunch of diff just memes out, try to become popular that way. Because now there's just, the number one is a, a video of some kid with a, like, airsoft rifle. <laughs> anyway, I guess we're not going to be doing panic buying. Okay, new topic. New topic, Bob. What are New we topic. looking at? You. What, what do we say? We need to. We go. People always want us to wa do flat Earth, you know. But I just. We can do flat like Earth or sovereign citizens if you want to want to mix it up a little bit, man. Oh, hey, I have a good sovereign citizen video that I was working on. Oh shit! I just closed my my Twitter feed. Uh, let me. Uh, let me see if I. I've been doing all the quick. Professor Dave videos, man. I finally got smart. You know, it used to be I'd always make the video for tomorrow, tonight. And, you know, I'll tell you, the pressure on that just got really bad. So now I've been kind of doing series, and I've got videos for the next two weeks already done. So now I can Did... actually relax a little bit. Oh, here's a Sovereign Citizens Getting Own compilation. This might be oh, interesting. Oh, that's always a good one, man. Okay, let me get this up real quick. And I'll ro Okay, hold on one second. Ooh. Wrong. Let's see, I probably ought to be in the call rather than on YouTube. Uh you hold, hold on, let me get this uh this screen opened up real quick. 
You should see it coming through. Oh, yeah, I got you. You mean uh, to see it coming through your your uh, thing? Yeah, does it come through the call or does it come through on YouTube? It comes through the call. Well, I'm going to have a small window on the call. But uh, All right. this is Sovereign Citizens Getting Owned, compilation number six. So we're, we're skipping one through five, Bob. I hope this guy knows what he's doing Uh-oh. because I have... We have nothing to reference the first ones on, so we'll see if this guy even knows how to capture the real stupid. Let me pause the music. Well, let's I'll see. Turn the music the first down five will be, uh, I don't need a driver's license to travel. Um, the United <laughs> States is a corporation. I'm here, I'm here in honor. Your oh, honor. We should play Sovereign Citizen Bingo. Let's see if they've, I think we can do that. Let's oh, that see if would they've be cool. got, that would be fun. I'm looking it up right now. Is my video coming through? I don't have the best of lighting right now. I'm just kind of sitting here chilling. I just got done editing a crap ton of videos. Yeah. And I, can... I was getting ready to go to bed, but I wanted to check and see where you were. Yeah, I can uh I can put you on lo- or put you on or leave you off. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Um Oh, either way, I I see me here. I see me here. I didn't know if that was going out. I'm just oh, sitting here chilling. On. Yeah. Oh, there, okay. It says Sovereign Citizen Bingo from MyFreeBingoCards.com. Oh, yeah, they do have it. They do have it. I'm sharing oh, cool. the link in the chat. And I'll, I'll, uh, you, you've got access to the chat, right, Bob? Yeah, I got access to the chat, and I'm going to have access to tequila here in just a second. Hang on. Oh, if you're saying that, then I'm going to go get access to whiskey because I've got some good whiskey, and I'm staying home, so... One second. They drank my damn tequila. Ah, freaking kids. I got a telescope yesterday, man. Ooh, what do we have here? That looks good. got a handwritten label on it. This ought to be good. All right, Bob. Do you have a shot? Oh, wait. Okay. You're not even by your your computer. Hold on. When you get back to your computer, we're going to go over some rules. Chat. I'm still here. (laughs) Oh, you can still hear me. Okay, great. All right, Chad. Here you go. Check it out. Me and Bob. Me and Bob are going to be taking a drink every time... A, the sovereign citizens say one of two things, okay? So pick one for me and pick one for Bob. And every time they they say that, I'll drink when you the one when he says what y'all say for me, and he'll drink with whatever they say they say for y'all, for Bob. I know I just confused the shit out of you. You know what I'm talking about. Pick a phrase All right, for me. What we need is we need a magic for word for. <laughs> yes. We gotta have exactly. a magic word for me and a magic word for skeptic. All right, so I'm we're gonna on, see now. I'm putting you and on you damn well Bob. better not pick and for me, <laughs> just to see me get or, hammered. Or if, if yeah, has to be has to be a relevant word. But I'm putting Bob on right now because Bob Bob looks too comfortable. He looks like he's all fucking club skeptic out right now. So, all right, so here we go. We have Black's Law. That's one. Uh, oh, we have Team Clown is live, people, from SKS. Feel free to go ahead and hide him, or, or, you know what, don't hide him. Just put him in perpetual timeout, guys. Vicky treatment on the Vicky. Alright, let's see. Anacito Maldonado says, good night, y'all. Good night, man. Let's see. Oh, what's your badge right. number? Okay, that's one. And then, okay, look, here we got... Am I right. being detained? Okay. Am, Am I, being... I being detained? So, all right. So here are the three ones. We have the three that I hear all the time is what's your badge number? Uh, I'm traveling, not driving. And am I being detained? So here's the rules, Bob. Okay. You get, all right. am I being detained? I get, all right. I'm traveling. And if they say, what's your badge number? We're both fucked. We're just both fucked that, if they okay, say what's your badge number. Enough. All right? Keep track. Here we go. Chat, 
I hope you guys have your fucking bingo cards ready. I want to hear bingo. I want to hear bingo, bingo, bingo in the fucking chat. All right, here we go. That's not wine. That's freaking brandy. Oh, I got. See, I got this home mix stuff. I mean, it's got a date on it. <laughs> Somebody made oh, this fuck. crap. It's hey, hold on. I'm sorry. It's playing with no volume. <laughs> Can you hear that, Bob? I got okay, it. Okay, good. I'm not getting out of the car. I don't. No need. No reason for me to get out of the car. Am I being detained? Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, nope. That's am one. I being detained? That's two. No, uh, Bob. We'll have. We'll. Here's what we'll do, Bob. Okay. We'll give you a 10 second minimum. So if you ask the question twice, you don't have to drink okay. twice. Okay. <laughs> All right, I can That's, deal with that. Wait, wait, are you, two. am I being detained or, no, mine is, oh yeah, yours is am I being detained, mine is I'm traveling, right, and what's your badge number is both. All right, here we go. I will yep. consent to searches or seizures. If this is a seatbelt violation, give me my ticket and I'll be on my way. Give me my ticket and I'll be on my way. Why do I need to exit the vehicle? I don't, I don't answer questions. You can, you can, here's my stuff. That's why you're exiting the vehicle. Because you don't answer questions. There it is. Simple think, ones. Oh, it's, uh, officer. It's, it's okay. Tennessee. He's going to fire three warning shots I would like to speak head. to your supervisor. Get your supervisor here. You're going to exit the vehicle first. Get sir. your supervisor here. I will not get your supervisor here. You're going to exit the vehicle first. Get your, su I want to speak to your supervisor. I don't trust you. I want to speak to your supervisor. You call the police if you want to. You're going to exit the vehicle. I want to speak to your supervisor. There's my information. There's no reason for me to exit the vehicle. It's, it's going to be the best It's, it's a seatbelt violation. If you, I, Even though I was wearing my seatbelt, give me my ticket and I'll be on my way. Here's my information. I got nothing else to say to you. I can, I can have you have vehicle. <laughs> you hear that? That's a threat. I want to speak to your supervisor. He's in route. That's a threat. I want to speak to your supervisor. Sir. All right, that's Wait. one. Let's see. Uh, well, okay. I've had better days. My name is Josh Shackelford, but he says that I've been pulled over for not wearing a seatbelt. I'm talking. Shut up. Uh, he says I've, not, I've been pulled over for not wearing. I have a, he's been Rudy threatening us. So I have it on video. It's a seatbelt violation. Here's my insurance, my license, my registration. He don't need me to be out of the vehicle. No, Why? that's against that, the law. I don't have to. No, it's not. This is a seatbelt violation. What law did I break to be detained? Oh, I'm, this is his. If I, this is his officer. If I step out, it's under duress, and that's on film. All right, you all are detaining me again. Give me my. He can oh, give me my ticket. we'll count that one. Way, Wade. You we'll count that one. Am I being detained? Oh wait, that's you, Bob. That's you. oh god, Bob. I'm so sorry. You know what? I, oh wait, it didn't mute you. I thought it muted you. Let me make sure it's not. I'm not muted. Mute yeah, no. Sometimes it does it on my end if I don't um, click a setting. And I just reset everything. It's the so ghost yeah. in the machine, my man. The ghost in the machine. That's 2 0. -oh. You're going down, Bob. You're going down. That's three. It's a bad sign you when you me. can't, when you're losing count. Well, here's what we'll do. I we'll had two we'll right redo. Off that. Yeah. We'll, uh, oh, yeah, that's three. You're right. When we get to the end of this little clip, we'll let everybody select two different phrases for me and you so that way we're not always on the same phrase. There's no, yeah, you right. know, man, we've talked a dozen, a hundred times. Everything's been okay. If, if I know you, then it's beyond me because I don't recognize Listen, sir, Go I'm here. in drug court, and Judge Costanza himself yeah, told me. Judge Costanza himself told me. I have nothing me. to say to the man. I, I, what it is, I flipped him off because I don't like him, and now I'm being pulled sir, up. Sir, so. Judge Costanza himself told me to file a complaint about Bear because he follows us for no reason. Well, and that's the judge himself. Look, if I, I'll speak with she, she heard that in drug court. <laughs> Not surprising. Yeah, I was in drug court the other day and explaining to the drug judge that the drug police officer keeps following me. And that's the only reason I'm here, judge, is because the damn drug police officer won't stop following me and finding drugs on me. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking, oh, it's not God. my, I have no problem. It's that fucking drug cop that won't stop fucking following me, pulling me over and when I have drugs drug. on me. <laughs> simple, simple fucking I'll solution. Him, okay? 
Simple solution. Make sure the judge tells the drug cop not to pull you over anymore and you won't be in court for drugs. All right. Done. Now, now I'll tell you what. If the guy's armed, we both got to take two drinks, okay? If he says he's yeah. got a CPL and he's armed. Okay, yeah. That's t that's a two drink that's a two drink uh, That's a two drink minimum. Two drink minimum for that. I I'm okay. I like these rules, Bob. We're coming up with rules as we go. This is the best way to play a game. Under duress, I'm filming. I'm filming this. Let me have it. I'll film it. No, they can't just by his car. He shoots people, man. You know this. <laughs> he shoots people. You know this. Everybody, the, the, drug, the drug judge told me he shoots people. Everybody knows this. Just go, Josh. Give me the phone. He's taking me back to his car. I don't. You're getting ready to go to jail. For what? Well, step back here. I mean, shut up. Shut up. I don't want to hear another word out of it, okay? Shut up. You're being nothing but a smart ass. We don't have to tolerate that, okay? I don't have to tolerate it either. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if we tell you to do something, you will comply, well, so you will go to jail. Fifth Amendment says I have the right to remain silent, but that means I don't have to abide by it. Okay. These street lawyers always Stop find themselves in fucking second. This is tyranny in America. Drug Tyranny in America. Search and fucking do whatever the fuck. All right. That's okay. what I told you well, to then. lie. All right. So that was a three-zero right, right, right there, words. Bob. We need two new trigger yeah. words, guys. Two new trigger words. Let's see what are they going to be. We're going to see. Well, get by contrary to right? minority belief, I am Man. still alive. Sean Hufford, the voice, has that arrived. That sounds like a Sean. It Sean, is, Mr. Bob, the science guy. Do you have something it is so to drink, bad Sean? When I start recognizing all these voices, these ethereal voices are starting to come into my head, and now I recognize and put names with them. Hey, uh, Jeff Roberts has a great, great suggestion. Someone needs uh -oh. to drink. Someone needs to drink every time if a window gets smashed, Bob. We gotta pour. We, we gotta. We gotta drink one for the dead window. I mean, and, and no, we rest both in peace. have to drink one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, absolutely. Do. Rest in peace, dead window. You know. So, uh, oh my. Okay, it's not playing. Sean, do you have any alcohol that you can also partake you, in this game with us? You know, I don't drink alcohol at all. Great. So you can moderate then. You can be the sober moderator. Oh. Well, before that, I just got done with a movie night, <laughs> so I'm going to go hit the bathroom, and then I'll be right back. Okay. Cool deal. We'll wait. Most yes, people uh, don't hit the bathroom. They do other things there, man. Well, I, I'm a very violent pooper, so. Oh, my <laughs> oh my okay. God. Do you have a wide stance? Do you have a wide stance? <laughs> <laughs> Across the room, Bob. Across the room. <laughs> Kuyasa for 10,000 yuan. Won. I, God, dog, I'm going to have to look it up. Guys, harass me. Yell at me. Every time I give you a fucking... Every time I say the, the word wrong or the monetary symbol wrong, harass me so I'll learn. If you guys just congratulate me on trying, I'll never get it right. <laughs> but Kriasa says, wait, is that Bob the Science Guy? Wow. Big fan. Hoping everything is okay in northern Michigan. I love that. Yeah, Hi. everything is Off okay North in northern Michigan. Michigan. We're getting a little corona out here, and um, the biggest problem that we're running into is that they're starting to shut stuff down. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm a medical marijuana doctor, so this is one of these things that people will put that off for a month. Mm. But... You know, so that's kind of hard on that's kind of hard on the practice. You know, we're sitting down uh, wearing masks and washing our hands compulsively. Make sure you get your thumbs. <laughs> uh, and but, then uh, uh, we're let's... still seeing some people, but we had to cancel our vacation to Florida. We were heading down to Panama City, and they closed the beaches today. That's so we're well, gonna we're gonna probably sucks, go in August. Yeah, we're I'm gonna go in they're... August. I think. I'm glad they're fucking taking some measures, though, at least, to keep people from fucking... Well, they needed to, man. They needed yeah. to, because, you know, as the spring breakers showed the other day, these, these kids aren't really paying much attention, and they're bringing it back to their grandparents, and they don't realize that. They may live through it, but their grandparents might not do as well. Jackalope Herdmaster, who's also a fellow Michiganian, 
uh, Michiganite. He says, my liquor Michigander. is already gone. Michigander, yeah. <laughs> my liquor's already gone, well, Team Skeptic. I'm out. You know what kind of problem okay. that is? Not my problem. Go to the liquor yeah, right. store. <laughs> it's okay, close. I am, I am back. Sorry about that. That was a All fast right, Sean, poop. You feel better, Sean? I told you, you I'm a little violent better, shitter, man. <laughs> yeah, I feel All right. I feel Quiasa, so glad for you. Quiasa says the W in his monetary uh, donation stands for whistle bucks. Uh, in that case, they're worth nothing on this end because I can't spend them because I can't fucking whistle. Bob, is there some kind of medical condition that you get that you can be diagnosed with that's like anti-whistling syndrome or uh, inability to focus air through a significant, well, if you ever read significantly Ian small Fleming, enough hole in your mouth disease? No, if you ever read Ian Fleming, the inability to whistle is a sign of homosexuality, according to the man with the golden gun. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, oh man, that wow. was, that's amazing, Bob. I suck at whistling. That's a too. literature. I, that's I, a literature. A flashback to the seventies. And I suck Bob at whistling. Coming out that, swinging. That's yeah, right. He does no. I love hate to tell you this, Bob. man. I that that's one skill I never mastered. I never I never learned to whistle. Justinian Justinian yeah, says that. since we since we brought it up, Justinian says medical marijuana helped me kick my opiate addiction. It was a better alternative yeah, we do that all than time. methadone and other opiate uh, alternatives to get yeah. you off of it. I agree 100%. I've always said this. When I talk about drug court and this and that, and we say it jokingly, there's a right <coughs> way to do things, and there's a wrong way to do things. If you find yourself in drug court, then you probably did it wrong. Don't and, and do I will it say, wrong. I will say this. Support businesses like like Bob's business that does that's legitimate, okay? I, I will uh, say this say because people say – People say that I never admit to when I don't know something. When it comes to medical marijuana and, and stuff like that, I have no knowledge of the entire topic. So I I proclaim right now, without any kind of prejudice, I am ignorant of the topic. So I, you'll never hear me speak. There's nothing on. wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing None wrong with all. that. No, I mean the the beauty of medical marijuana. You know, I've got probably a database of ten thousand patients. I probably ought to write a paper on this one of these days. But the average reduction in narcotic use is about 75%. And even if only half of the doctors in Michigan would start using medical marijuana as part of their pain relief regimes, we could probably reduce the number of prescriptions of narcotics in the state by 50%. And that would just be enormous for public health. Well, I would all and, I would completely uh, support switching over to a, a marijuana based, um, you know, medicine versus opiate based opiate. I, it's just yeah. such a hard fucking it's such a hard drug for people to get off of. And my when my doctor told me about it when because I have uh, a condition called ankylosing spondylitis and I can get they, they bamboo typically spine. Prescri- <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, they do typically uh, prescribe opiates for it to help deal with the pain, and I just never liked them. Dude, though I took them the for maybe the first couple of years uh, out of the military, I took them real sparringly. Like my doctor would give me a 60, um, 60 pill prescription over thirty days, and that sixty pills mm-hmm. would last me four months or so. Um, I just didn't like the feeling, you know. And when I got off of them, the the one thing that scared me about him was when he said, "The human body." will become addicted to this whether you want to or not. You can say my mind It's chemistry. Is, it's chemistry. Exactly. That's exactly what he said. He said you can be so strong-willed, you can tell yourself I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just be strong and get off of it. He said but once you've done it so many times, your body will want it. Will want it and will need it. Um and it's not yeah. a pretty sight and it scared the shit out of me and I always like for that reason, I always said, "You know what? I'm just I don't like the way it makes me feel. First off, I didn't. I used to think, like, or not think, but anytime I would take an opiate, I could just never could have sex for whatever reason. Just couldn't get my dick hard. Um, Can't concentrate. Only, only on opiates. Only on opiates. When it's weed or anything else, it's totally fine. But when it's opiates, it just something else. Something else would happen. Um, uh, I don't I know do if got a question for you, Doctor Bob. Yeah. Um, it's kind of mocking and wow. um, an, a serious question. It's not about you. It's actually about a certain flurfer who thinks that CBD oil is able to cure a lung deficiency, as in as in Westy lung. Cure it, not just hide the symptoms. He says it cured it. 
Any any input on that? Well, one of the things that you hear about cannabis all the time is cannabis cures cancer. And um, I, I don't say that. And the reason that I don't say that is that if it did, it would cure it all the time, or at least a high percentage of the time, and everybody be on cannabis. Um, I have had three patients in the last 10 years that had brain cancers, brain tumors that went into remission with cannabis oil. Mm. And I also had a woman with stage four breast cancer that went to the waters at Lourdes and came back cancer free. So what I always say is that it improves your quality of life. And if I had three months to live, I wouldn't want to spend it in a narcotic haze sitting on the couch. I'd want to be playing with my grandkids and fiddling in the shop and, you know, doing the things that make me me. And uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't cure your lungs. It doesn't. Yeah, I, um, I, I just wanted to it'll, hear it from someone who actually dilate them. It'll dilate them. You know, it's actually pretty good with, with uh, the reason you cough when you take a big hit of it is that you, your bronchial tubes open up and stretch. And that stretch response elicits a cough. It's not an irritant or anything. It's just your bronchial tubes suddenly open and it makes you cough. But oh, no, uh, I, I, I don't know the if Israelis are actually using it. The Israelis are actually using it for asthma. But yeah, what were you saying? I don't know if you kept up on it or not, but um, this certain flipper was giving his dog cannabis oil orally, and it, it, he's claiming that it cured his West Oh, Eastern. my favorite flipper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I laughed every time I've seen that, but I was hoping variable. to get your view on it. <laughs> no, uh, his, his concept of medicine is about as good as his concept of science and law. In other words, he's completely incompetent. Hey, uh, let me let Agreed. me jump in for one second because we have a semi a semi superstar out there. Simon Dan is uh, in the Cy chat Man's right here. now. Yeah, he he just came in here to show off his check mark. I was gonna uh, say he's we, flexing the check. <laughs> yeah, he's flexing the check. Yeah, the, no, that hundred percent. He's flexing the check mark. Nice flexing. Way to flex, Simon Dan. Uh, Simon but, hey, Dan's you know, a great guy. He's an inspiration to me. You know. I used to think that until uh, I found FIFA. out he has, yeah, until we played FIFA. And he destroyed me, unceremoniously mm -hmm. destroyed me. And from that well, day forward, you were on just, Team I don't America, know. weren't you? I just, eh. well, you oh, were yeah. on Team America, weren't you? Okay, yeah, well, you me see and MC Toon smashed them. Yeah, MC Toon, MC Toon's a good guy, but, you know, you get me on, you get me on Team America, too. We'll show those damn limeys where it's what. Oh, we no, me and me and uh me and MC Toon crushed. I mean, absolutely destroyed Team UK. Team UK was they were so clueless. Uh we brought out facts. We hit them so hard with facts that they could they didn't know their left foot from their right foot when they looked down and if you watch the video, both Fight and Cats continuously look down looking to try to determine which foot is right and which one is left. Simon Dan will vouch for this because he doesn't lie. He's a good guy. He will tell you that America is way better than the UK, hands down. <laughs> there is no argument about that. Uh, Simon Dan, put a one in the chat if you agree. Thank you, sir. I'll be looking forward to your He's one. He's already said that it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to say I had an unfair advantage. I almost had, you know, I could almost be charged for... Uh, for what what's that what's it called when you when you know like an insider trading? I could only almost be charged with insider it's called trading. insider trading. Not yeah. because I had any insider information, but because I have such a great group of subs who came together in the twelfth hour to pull me out of the shadows with facts and knowledge and make sure that I was prepared for that debate. And I'll be damned if Dan didn't ask like five questions <laughs> that my subs specifically asked me. And I was just like, wow, are they really? Are they really asking these questions that my subs asked me last night? This is amazing. So I didn't win. You know, they won. I just won for them. You know, I'll tell you something. When I took my boards for internal medicine out of residency, what they did was they had student, you know, resident presentations in the back, you know, on the big poster boards and everything. And I'm thinking, yeah. you know, like if they've got this at the test, 
I probably ought to look at some of these. And one of them was on something uh, called lymphangioleomyomatosis. There's like That's 200 important. reported cases in the world. And I said, well, if they've got this thing up here, maybe I ought to read it. Wouldn't you know it? There were three questions on it on the board exam. So. Jeez. Wow, how lucky How lucky is that? <laughs> yeah, I had never even heard of it. Dude, that, that reminds me when I, I'm trying to remember what they used to call um, this little intellectual competition I used to do in, in high school. I think it's called DECA, I think is what it's called. Um, oh. But in, anyway, so the uh, – um, anyway, in, in the DECA competition, we it was out of – town so we didn't it wasn't in town we we bust together to go to this competition and when we went to the competition um on the on the drive there we were quizzing each other we were giving each other obscure questions that they were going to ask and there was one that was really good and i want to say it was the word green like we were practicing like where we would just say a word and everybody would say something like not just answer it with like uh green um you know grass there would be something like we'd all have this interesting answer and i guess the I, the way the competition went i think we got graded on the number of answers and the interesting interestingness of the answers <laughs> and it just so happens that we asked the question to each other and i think it was green i was like what is green and we ended up getting almost that exact same question asked of us and uh so we were obviously very prepared it looked as if you know, we were like the most brilliant, brightest people in the world. And really, it was just all repeating answers that we had gotten on a two or three hour fucking van ride. Pretty awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> but, um, That's okay. the way to do it. So let's get so back. So what are our words? What are our words? Well, okay. we Yeah, we got to get some words. First, we got to, it's a team skeptic, first hiccup of the hangout. Where did I hiccup? Did I hiccup somewhere? Uh, maybe, maybe my internet connection. Uh... Oh, weren't we watching a video, lol? Yes, we were. Okay, so guys, we need two phrases, two key words for me and Bob to drink on. Last time, you guys gave Bob three drinks. That was mighty unfair of you. I'm a thirsty individual. You might, you think you guys might want to pick a good word for me? And remember, Bob, if a window gets broken, we both drink. Yep. Let's see. We've got to salute the dead soldier. All right, there's uh there's do you have a warrant? That's that I don't know if this one will be in this one doesn't I don't know if they're about to search this person's thing. Let's see. <coughs> Take it easy, Danny no, said. Got to go. Just... Kids got to do kids breakfast. Take it easy, man, and be safe out there. So, it could be will it be any variation of a warrant being requested? Yeah. Uh, oh, look, Brouhaha says, I drink on, can I speak to your supervisor? Anything that has to do with the word supervisor. So that's my drinking. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then the badge take, number's still popular. Yeah, so I'll, take, take take badge number. I'll take badge number. So you got what? supervisor, I'll take badge number. Watch this girl ask for her his badge number like five times. All right, Sean, are you gonna, since you're not drinking, <laughs> are you just going to be a moderator? Well, I've got doc. Um, actually, I got Coke tonight. <laughs> oh, he has Coke. So, um, well, if if they break a window, Sean, you have to chug your entire Coke. That's too weird, dude. No, that's not happening. <laughs> hey, so supervisor for me, badge number for you, broken window for badge everybody. Number. All right. Or oh wait, we got to come up with a word for Sean. Let's see. And then I'm drinking. Should my my I'll take that other one that um. I'll take the one for the warrant. Okay. Warrant okay, for Sean. Warrant. Supervisor, badge number, windows is everybody. And here we go with the stupid. Here we go. Fuck it. Can you sit right there for about two minutes while I talk to them and please not interact with me so I can ask them a few questions. Do not interact with them either so they can interact with me. Then please. stay right next to me with the camera on them. You guys are too close for comfort. If I had for me, please. Is here fine? Just step away from Daisy at this point. We need to talk to Daisy. No. We don't. If I could in give you guys her name? No, you cannot give them this my name. This was part of the whole me interacting with them and asking them questions. 
if I'm able to give you their, her information, certainly would this stop a arrest interaction or that yes? Erection? It's getting arrested for an erection? <laughs> oh, kidnapped. That's a good one. She's not saying she Whatever name you tell me, we have to be able to positively say that's her. Because you could say it's it's Linda Ronstadt. The Queen Stan, of England. Right? Yeah, have, yeah. Well, that's not Linda Ronstadt. Yeah. Um, do you guys want to talk to Hubbard? Do um, not leave my side with that camera. Why don't you if I had a camera last time I was attacked by the police, something might have been done about it. Attacked? Yeah. <laughs> Attack. No, because then you're gonna take the fuck On my way to drug court. Me. You're not touching me. I don't consent. Babe. I don't oh. consent. <laughs> Two minutes of just. I, I love when they scream that. Please. You're not leaving my side. I'm not. You can stay right there. I'll be quiet. I do not yeah. consent. That might help me. You're not touching it, but I will hold it up for you. They, the people You're not the touching Heather, it up, but I'll hold it up Heather for you. That Stephen sounds Lane like a. Say, oh, never mind. Their signatures are on here, but it is signed off. It has been sold. I have a bill of sale right here that has been signed off by the owners of the vehicle. So, sir, if you want to, if you want to tell me what her information, I can look it up and make sure it's her. Then all that's going to happen is she's going to get. God, these people are boring. They really oh, are. I need to talk to my dad. I really need to write down a skit on how to deal with this shit because I know. I need to write down a skit on how to deal with this shit. Arrest me for not giving you my name. So you're telling me that if I give you her information, if we're able. Forcing you to do anything? Well, if you yes, you are. Going to jail. If I'm able to identify who she is. If I'm able to provide you with an ID that tells you who she is, an actual state ID mm -hmm. that provides you with correct information. That we will just get citations. Just give it to him! You guys will be on your way for yep. getting crackheads and thieves and yep. sovereign yep. citizens and flat earthers. And it's going to be a library card. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> right? It's going to be like, but, but the library's in the state and they issued it. Is there a way. In the first place, if you fucking didn't stop me in the well, first place for no reason, you had no and, uh, suspicion of me committing. That's funny. They could have already been out of there. Even you after he said, "Can I give you the the card and be done with this?" He said, "Yeah." Give him the card. I want it. I want him to give it to him. I want him bad. Give it to him. All right, break his window. Fuck it. I'm thirsty. And they're trying to arrest me under failure to carry and present. Uh, I can't get a hold of my dad, and I know you're really smart on some of this shit. And I'm really having a hard time making any decisions because I'm about ready to have a panic attack and cry because I have four thugs in blue surrounding me, threatening to kidnap me if I don't give them my name. And right. Information. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm gonna insult them right now. Should I be citing off the our fucking Supreme Court cases? After she's on the phone, I'm gonna let her know. It's either you give them the information. Don't they? Don't you, you have give to them the information? Commit a crime you get in the these first tickets. Place to be you get check for a warrant, I'm you can warrant. either go That's me. or you don't, and you go with yeah. them. So like, there's either. Did he bring up warrant? That doesn't I count, didn't hear though. It. Yeah, I, I took yeah. it anyway. He said warrant. Checking her for a warrant, but he took one just because he's a good sport. Oh. And That's why we love Sean. Way to take one for the team, Sean. We don't get in trouble, so we're pretty damn sure there are no warrants. <laughs> So like it's, right. it's about a fifty. Boom! Bring it up. So it's either go with you or go on a merry way. So we we'll would we'll be driving away right now if we'd have just got that done. So what do you want to be doing in the next few minutes? Well, once she's off the phone, I'm gonna let her know that it's either provide information and do a check or go to jail. They do a check at the office. Exactly. The office. I guarantee that she doesn't want to give her ID up because she's got a warrant. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. She's going to go to Camp Happy Land and play some volleyball. <laughs> Jackalope Herdmaster, 99 cents. Thank you, sir. Very much. I appreciate it. Give them your ID or they're going to tackle you. That's simple. You can't assault somebody for... What, Bob? What'd you say? 
the whole 99 cents how about six dollars and 66 cents gotta buy him <laughs> gotta buy him a cheeseburger look oh, at man. him he needs a cheese look at him he I need, needs yeah, it three i need three cheeseburgers six dollars gets me about that much you can't yeah. thank you very much for fucking <laughs> i appreciate it an ID. Get your and ID. i'm not harassing you for Either giving 99 ID, cents man or they're gonna get you <laughs> It's more oh, than I gave them. Can you please? Oh yeah. Them? They're going to arrest me in a minute. Can you please? If they're then, then do I just let them fucking? No, they, you they, get your fucking. No, ID. I'm not giving. I have the right to remain silent. Then I have the right to exercise silent? my Fifth Amendment right. You and and they're oh, right. not going to make you talk. That's the Here, thing. Here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. Stay shut the fuck up. It's, you can. The funny thing about the Fifth Amendment is when you're being arrested, not before. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Oh, it's Come on, they, they need to interviewed. They they need to hear some they need they need to hit some of these trigger words, man. I'm getting kind of thirsty. We've gone through 9 minutes of this no, video. I haven't taken a drink yet. That's the constitution. We're going to have to broaden. We're going to have to each take 3 3 words. Just... You guys don't get it. You took a fucking oath to protect the constitution. Babe. Uh, You're going to assault me and attack me because I refuse to give you my name. Where my put some damn I shoes have on. I remain silent, don't I? I don't have to provide fucking jack shit. Go ahead and fucking kidnap me. Which is me. not like this. She's actually pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is a one-time event, guys. I swear. I swear. When I have her at home, being the mother of my children, she's never like this. When I have her never. doped up, when she's doped up in the corner, she never leaves that corner. She just stays there doped up. But when we get her out in public, though, fucking watch the fuck out, because here she comes. That's her moment to shine. Yeah. She doesn't get out much, Bob. She needs to take full advantage of shining in, at every opportunity she gets. I'm going to go with Nathan Nicholson here for the next video. I think that your words should be Constitution Skeptic. Uh, we're gonna do more than one word, so we can guarantee that I have to drink. This is my live stream. I'll go one for one, and then I'll also keep the break window clause. <laughs> I don't want them to get you. They don't want the paperwork. <coughs> well, they can, don't no, they leave, really leave don't. Leave me alone. I, I'm letting yeah, you I'm out. sure. Like yeah, I, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure every murderer in America wants you to get go away and leave them alone, right? You know, when they don't want to be caught. I'm sure she's anybody that says that. I mean, at this point, she could have just given him the fucking license and dealt with it, you know? Like, if she has nothing to hide, give him the or license. Library card. They were, or the library card. Just <laughs> something. Library card. Yeah, it would work. It's state-issued. State yeah, but you got to remember, I mean, what are they What are they pulling her over for? And, you know, you know how many crack houses and, and dead hookers in a ditch did they pass to do this? <laughs> right. You know? To find I one mean, live one. I mean, seriously. <laughs> well, no, I mean, you know, I'll tell you, we had a, we had an issue out here. You know, they keep busting all, all these grandmas with 13 plants because, you know, they're over their limit. And then they find a field of like 80,000 plants in August. Mm. The reason they never looked at, the, the reason they never found that field was they were too busy looking at places that they could seize. This was in a state forest. <coughs> oh, like, they God. Didn't they didn't notice it. They couldn't, oh God. All right, here we go, more stupid. Not enough. More stupid. Can I? For not using a blinker. For I'm... supposedly not using a blinker. I told you, traffic and... So if I give no, you her I ID? No, I did not use yeah. my blinker. Apparently. Even if she's still on the I'm phone, fucking hysteric. She can say that you know that I'm pretty sure I use my blinker. Sure blinker. Okay, please. please. Sounds fucking simple to me. Sounds fucking simple to me, Bob. <laughs> Sounds like all you gotta do is give them the ID and they're gone. There's a there's an old saying. It's called "Pick your battles." This is not a battle I would pick. Right, I wouldn't be dying on this hill either. Nope. Let's see. Okay, we're That's... we're at the next video. All right, Sean. Thank God. Yeah, that, God. that video Are was too dumb. Are we keeping our same words or do we get new words now? No, we're gonna get we're gonna get some, we're gonna get a few words. I need two words for Bob, one word for Sean, and three words for me. So we'll do Bob's two words first. Bob, you're gonna get Okay. 
supervisor and rights. Supervisor oh, and rights. Rights? You're talking about <laughs> rights? Okay, I'm you just called you Bob. My rights. All right, Bob. So now I just put I just made you comatose. So before you go comatose, you got to give me some words. So what are my three words? And the. Well, okay. Oh my God. No, they have to be trigger words. You can't. You can't pick. Again, can't I'm going to pick first constitution. order words. I'm constitution. Uh, There's one. Constitution's going to be one. That. Okay, you can have badge number and uh, the third one. The third one. We're going to go with my personal favorite, and that's traveling. Traveling. Oh, any, oh he's in a car. Any, he's any in a con- car. Yeah, traveling. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. All right. So let me. Uh, my words are badge number, um, constitution, and, and traveling. traveling. Okay, badge yep. number, constitution, and traveling. Wait a minute. What were my words again? Rights. My, my word was supervisor and rights. Supervisor right? and rights. And now we got to come up with a word for Sean. All right. Um, this looks like one of those guys that likes to say, "Am I being detained?" So I'll take detained. Detained. All right, detained. All right. Well, okay, um, so people are saying it has to be constitutional if we're going to use rights. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But if it's an implied constitutional rights where he says, I know my rights, then, yeah, that one counts. You know, if yeah, I know that my one Fifth counts. Amendment. Cause... Yeah, that, Fifth that... Amendment. Yeah, exactly. We're trying that's to drink, guys. All righty. All right. We're trying to Here drink. We we're really trying to I need, I need I a second word. And tonight I'm going to learn. Oh, Sean needs a second word. What was the the first one? Was uh, I I saw consent fly up a couple times in chat. Yeah, consent. What was consent? I do not consent. And then there was another one we gave you. What else? I got I got detained in consent. Yeah, I do not consent. consent, And am I being detained? All right, here we go. Let's see. At commercial capacity, that means that I have to be Domino's. I already know where this is going. I have a logo on my car that says I'm a business. I have to have, because it's taxable. Because traveling's free and it's a right. Uh, 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 that's two of them. Traveling and rights. You got rights, right? And I had traveling. <laughs> Even if Cheers, I didn't, team. I've got it now. There you go. This is my, my, uh, my Jameson. My Jameson Black Barrel. Let's continue. Woo! That stuff is good. Still operating a motor vehicle, sir, and No, no, opera, a motor vehicle and a Black Saw's dictionary. I ain't like oh. No, no, this Black is not a motor vehicle. is under commercial. That no, means that not, I... This is a motor vehicle. It can be anything. It can be a riding lawnmower. It can be a boat. It's anything that's operated by a motor You do understand the oath of office, don't you? To the Constitution? To go oh, office Constitution. Constitution. Call her, call her a law, because this is... That, that's you, team. That's me? Yeah, you got you had Constitution and... Um, and uh, rights. No, I think mine's rights and uh, <clears throat> whatever I just drank on. I already forgot that one. <coughs> I'm going to have to write these down. Yeah, I was looking <laughs> for a pen, and I didn't, I didn't see one, so... I have a notepad in front of me. I don't know why I didn't just type it in. But then again, I haven't been drinking, so I still remember mine. Yeah. Like, well, I haven't been drinking either. That was my first shot. Is Like, I got my constitutional rights. It's over. Top oh, well, the yeah. So the right to travel is there. It's a like constitutional so travel, and, and, travel, roadways, and travel. And travel. And traveling. Woo! I had traveling. Wow. <laughs> This Jameson is kicking my butt. <laughs> Not even kidding. Be a man. Be a man. Oh, and that was up. only my second shot. That was only my second shot. Suck it up. <laughs> but you weigh a whole ton pounds. Brouhaha. Hey, before I take that shot, Brouhaha says, you should try to get a sponsorship from Dr. Pepper. Hey, Brouhaha, I actually discussed that with my kid uh, either yesterday or today, earlier today. <clears throat> and... Uh, 
he was like, they had never sponsored someone small like you. And I was like, you never know. I drink a lot of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh, hey, we have slow mode on. Let me turn slow mode off since we're doing a more relaxed kind of thing. I don't, slow mode was on earlier. Okay, I've turned slow mode off for you guys, man. I'm sorry about that. All right, let me get the music turned up just a little bit. Check this chat here. Oh, no, 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 no. He chilled. No, my words are not angle of attack, perspective, and relative buoyancy. <laughs> oh, my God. Are we going to do flat earth bingo? I'd be That's in a... liver failure with that. I would be in, I'd be in liver <sighs> failure with that. Yes. I me like too. my liver. All right. Let's see. I have. All right. Let's keep going. This guy here okay. looks like he's got some he's got some potential on him. He's got a window break coming up, I know. Yeah. For tags, I have to get a license, I have to get all that <sighs> stuff. I don't have to. If I'm driving, I have to, but I'm traveling. Oh, there's one. That's you, Bob. I still haven't taken my shot. I still have one shot left to take, too. I just got to catch my breath so I can make it all the way through. It's a conspiracy to get Bob hammered tonight. Oh, I do. Um, did it get turned up a little bit? Yeah. I meant for it to be turned up a little bit, but not too much. Oh, all right, there. Got the rhythm and blues. <laughs> a little bit of jazz going yeah. on. Yeah. That's what I, I told you. This is a, yeah, this is a soft jazz hangout. You know, this is Club Skeptic, man, where the adults come to party. Adults oh, don't hell? listen to heavy metal headbanging music when they get together and socialize. That's for the younger kids. Let the kids do it. Let us adults listen to the soft jazz with a little bit of piano in the back and some soft drums. <laughs> That's what we're all about. I think you're about to get hit with the other I had, I, had I had teenage girls, and I had to go to a Kesha concert with them once. I don't think that I will ever be the same after that. I was preparing I I to take this anything. shot because I thought that I had just convinced myself that I was ready for the shot. But after hearing that, Bob, I'm not ready. I will never be ready. You went to a Kesha concert? I can only imagine a seeing you at a Kesha concert. Oh, God. You, yeah. I'm sure the, the, the boomer alerts went up. I'm sure all the kids were like, boomer, boomer. They would have been saying that about me because that shit's too young for me, too. Hell, Sean's a boomer when it comes to Kesha. Who's Kesha? Wait, Sean, my son. You're older than me, right, Sean? Yeah. My my son's a football player and class president, and he always has kids over, always has his friends over, and they think I'm cooler than they than he is. So, <laughs> you are, you are, Bob. I tend to relate well with him. <laughs> Whew! All right. This is gonna be an interesting night, by the way. Yeah. Ah. Automobile. I got a little while to hang. Is it true that you have video go and microphone recording on your person? Oh, he's got a checklist. You have to have state law. Uh, no, you have to have a recording on your person. No, I don't. You don't know that new rule that the uh, government came out with? I can tell you that's not the Supreme government. The new rule. Like I love that. The new rule that the government came oh, out with. Oh, wait a minute. As a the government. Under. Oh, is he? How do you know? Michigan. How do you know? Uh, the new rule from the Michigan State Court. Oh, I didn't catch He's that. He's a Michigander. Cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's easier for you. No, well, it's easier for you too, guy. <laughs> I know, but I legally I don't have to give you one for traveling. No, uh, 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 Bob. Operating. Dude, those pizzas are getting cold. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Just give him your ID and deliver your fucking pizzas, boy. Commercial vehicle. Will you please just real quick? I don't want to be a dick. Look up Black's Law real quick in your car. I didn't believe <laughs> that. First. Look it up. Go look it up in your car. Yeah, I love that. I, I've been, I know yeah, I'll just run right over and do like that. How to boot indoors, not to get sued, how to detain people, all that. Oh, detain, that's me. They don't teach you law. 
Ah, I just rewound it all the way to. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'll go back. Uh, government came out with. All right. So you will get up to detain, but yeah, that's on you, Sean. Yeah, I done did it. It's Supreme. There better be a two-liter like gone over there already. Okay, but uh, it's about. Dude, from time I here, about third gone already. <laughs> It's easier for you. It's not easier for you, sir. I don't want to fight you for not presenting me with your operator's license by trying to give you an out here. I know, but I legally I don't have to give you one for travel. <laughs> now, if I'm in commercial capacity and operating a commercial vehicle. Well, you're operating a motor vehicle, and I'm not going to argue with you, sir. I want to make this. Will clear. you please just real quick? I don't want to be a dick. Look up. Yo, oh my God. I yeah, you do. Yeah, you yeah. Really I love do. that. I Bob, how many times does somebody walk in your office and go? Well, look, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but yep. well, let me tell but you how to do I your want... job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not telling you and you don't I, know what the I fuck I you're talking about, but you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't think people realize yeah, that that but nullifies everything they said before that. With my medical degree. Right. But, hey, you just have a – that's all. You, you just think you're, you're more qualified because you have a medical degree, Bob? Is that, the, is that what you think? Is that what society has <laughs> taken us to? That people with medical degrees think that they're better than when it comes to medicine than people with non-medical degrees? What kind of fucking Jack Boo society do we live in? Where you have to be a fucking have a degree know. to be a practicing doctor? Come on now. Oh, anybody, right. anybody should be allowed to grab a hacksaw and cut your head open and perform brain surgery. But I'm running for president on that there. platform. You know, like there all I say, you know, if you could field dress a deer, you could probably do surgery. <laughs> there there, How there is a misconception in the chat about this guy. Um, he's not delivering pizzas. He used that as an example of what it would take for him to have a driver's license. He says, I'm oh. not delivering pizzas. He, no, he's not a pizza delivery guy. He's just traveling. <laughs> well, he was pretty, he he was pretty specific. Yeah, that's what I was day. saying. He was pretty specific with the job title he chose. He probably has aspirations of one day becoming a pizza driver. But You're until right. he starts handing his license yeah. over to police officers and following basic traffic laws, that dream will probably never come true there, buddy. Well, you know, you know, team, it's always good to have goals in life is what I look at. <laughs> it, it, it is. It's good to have a goal and something that you work for someday. <laughs> Huge, huge but then again, asked he is me, kind of screwing his patches. He is kind huge, of screwing his chances up here. <laughs> huge R's asks, uh, are you channeling Nathan? No. <laughs> what? What is this? And then Walter, what I is this about? You. Dude? Yeah, I'm not out there. I'm not out there running around telling all the cops I love them. So, uh, let's see. There was one other one I started. My restraining with. order. Yeah. Uh, there was another South one. South Carolina fucking... kick your butt, man. Yeah, that's why he's Texas not there anymore. He needed Shit, killing as a valid defense down there. I used to live What'd in South say? Carolina. He, I said I used to live in South Carolina. He needed killing as a valid <laughs> descent defense down there. Oh, my nose has started running since I started drinking. <laughs> All right. Uh, Oh, Bob! Jeez. Pineapple on pizza or no pineapple on pizza? What's the di what's the verdict, Bob? Yes. Oh, it's one of the. It's one. I have or been the telling. That is I have the been telling. Term. I have been telling my child that pineapple on pizza will make him go blind. He has yeah, since started jacking off bomb. quite quite regularly. <laughs> Oh, Jackalope Herdmaster, I don't know if he's still around or anymore, but his 99 cent was a fucking, uh, was a sticker. It was a, snee a, a sleepy sticker. Well, thank you very much, Jackalope. I hope you're fucking still there. Uh, this is well worth staying up till 3 a.m. to watch. From Silo. What's happening, Silo? I'm glad you stayed up till 3 a.m. in the morning. What is it, 2 here? So it's 3? Okay. Yeah, I'm glad you made it too. Thank you for hanging out with us. You got a great chat going here too, out in YouTube. You got yes, a lot of I, nice folks out here, man. Well, I, I, I really, really, really do feel. If, if there was a Very term odd. to describe what I, the way I feel about my chat, it's blessed. And I don't believe in God or <laughs> yeah. anything, but I just think that the universe has put forth. I don't have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subscribers. 
I'm probably getting pretty close to topping out because the people who have subscribed to me subscribe because they like my style. The people that don't subscribe to me have probably already been exposed to me and have just chosen not to. And that's their choice. I'm okay with that. The people that are in my chat are amazing. And that's all I need. That's it. I'm going to stick a little thing out here in chat because I want some of these folks over in mine. Give me a second here. You go keep yeah. going. I'm going to... I'm going to stick your... a little thing out here to just blatantly promote myself. Dude, Bob, on my on my channel, you have full permission to promote yourself vigorously. I would prefer someone like you promoting yourself than somebody like some of these other Me. dipshits that go in there. And, uh, <laughs> no, you <laughs> shut up. You get, uh, you know, I mean, uh, we're, uh, it, we're done. Uh, no, I'm just um, go ahead, Bob. It's just one of those things that, you know, I mean, it's YouTube is so damn fickle because, you know, I put out a video on thir on Thursday, got like 9,000 views. And I put out a video on the same subject, those 10 challenge questions from Professor Dave. I put it out today and it's like, I got four views on it. And, you know, I mean, like, God, what am I doing? And then I do a search for me and I can't even find my own video. And, yeah. you know, YouTube just blank, blanked me right out, man. And I was feeling so neglected. I just did, you know. Was you know, it, Bob, it was just one of those things. I, I saw your the um, same problem. Go ahead, Sean. I saw, your, right. I saw your community post about that, Bob. Did you did you mirror the video or did you actually just make your own and just use bits and pieces? Because Content ID might have blocked it out. And that's been getting kind oh, of no, no, no. I, Oh, no, that's Bob. all me. Is your did your video get yellowed by chance? Like yellow no, monitor. Okay. All right, everybody, um, click on that link I just put in, man. Yes, and hit subscribe. Everybody. Look, man, <coughs> Bob the Science me, Guy is an make amazing. Me feel appreciated here. He's an amazing fucking content creator. Okay, I I personally, that's one of the people that I do watch regularly. I, I only watch a handful of creators. I mean, I have I'm to. I'm honored, man. Well, I honestly, I have to, like, my time, if I take eight hours of sleep every day, which I try to get about eight hours of sleep every day, right? So if I take, let's say, ten hours of my day is, is for obligation, sleep, eating, shitting, pissing, showering, brushing teeth. Let's say ten hours of my day I can't do anything about. I'm left with 14 hours in the day. I have to take some rec time, and I got to deal with my son, family time. That knocks out about another five, six hours. So I have four hours to really bust my ass, four hours of free time to bust my ass. I don't have time to just watch anybody. The people that I watch, I have to like, I have to be selective. I have to watch people that are not just entertaining, but also offer some educational value. Your videos are great. I love watching your videos. They always come, it's not like mine. It's not just the point and laugh and ha ha, look at the stupid guy. It's ha ha, look at the stupid guy because of these reasons right here and i'm dr bob from northern michigan <laughs> i love it i love it i love it i'll tell you something i'll tell you something i've got a pretty decent life right now and i really love what i do for a living and interacting with all the people that i i do and i started off on youtube basically because somebody put a stupid video out and i just said well i'll just fix this real quick and i made this little 10 minute thing on my dining room table then the fight began and 400 <laughs> videos later. And I'll tell you, I love doing this. I really it's do. Fun. It's a lot of fun. It's fun. Because yes. it gives me an excuse to go and study stuff that I haven't looked at since I was in high school, man. I'm on Dr. Or, or excuse me. I'm on Professor Dave's channel right now learning algebra. I mean, the last time I looked at algebra was like ninth grade. And now yeah. I'm factoring polynomials and just having a, you know, I hope to work my way up to trig soon. And, uh, you know, it's just, this is just crap that I do for fun. And I'll tell you, I truly enjoy it. I get all this great feedback from people and, you know. People are giving me a hard time. I think, I think some of my math at, didn't add up to 24 hours there. <laughs> They were like ten plus seven does not equal five. Well, we weren't going to mention that. It's your channel, man. You can hey. you can have as many hours in the day as you want. We, we, yeah, I mean, I uh, yeah. So hold on, I sleep for ten. That's fourteen. I leave fourteen hours to myself to myself in a twenty-four hour day. 
I probably exaggerated on my free time that I spend. Yeah, I probably spend more like right. six hours every day working on YouTube. And then I spend about four hours to myself. Yeah. So that leaves me about four should... hours to to like for necessity, food and showering, shitting, pissing, brushing teeth, stuff like that. I hours honestly a spend, a, believe it or not, I honestly spend about four hours a day on YouTube. I look at videos, um, I edit videos, I'll sit down and record a few of them. And then, you know, just my wife's watching, you know, whatever it is she watches, NCIS or whatever. And I sit out here with her with my headphones and I do editing. And, you know, we just sit on down and kind of chill with us. And um, everything that I get from this thing goes right in her account. So she lets me That's do awesome. it. That's awesome. It's fucking but I awesome, just do man. it for fun. I mean, it's great. Well, that, yeah. that's how I started out, Bob. You know, I, I've been dealing with this flight of stuff for five years now. Um, mm -hmm. And it, it started out as a, it was a hobby and just fun to do. And then yeah. they started to cycle back on their old arguments that have already been debunked. So I'm the type of person that doesn't like to rehash stuff I've already talked about. So my content yeah. has shifted on my channel because there's nothing new coming from Flat Earth. So now I'm doing game streams or... Occasionally, I do a live hangout about some kind of random topic. But as far as flat Earth stuff goes, I haven't done flat Earth videos in like six months now because there's nothing new. So yeah. I've hit that wall. Well, I had a, I had a crisis of faith last fall, and you know, I just said, "Look, I've already debunked all this stuff. What more do I need to do with it?" And you know, I, and I couldn't find a motivation to do a video. You know, it was almost a writer's block type thing, and then I said you know there are other subjects i could talk about so i'm talking about space deniers and, and young earth creationists mm -hmm. and the one thing that i'd really love to get into and i was actually talking with steve latho today who's an attorney that's um we have some mutual friends and he's an attorney out of southfield and he does a lot of work with sovereign citizens and i love dealing with sovereign citizens i just love sovereign citizens Oh, fuck. We and, have a Sovereign uh, Citizens video we haven't finished yet. <laughs> yeah, we got to finish up that. That was my That's little right here. to get back. What, are, we right here. Movie night focus, to, man. are we on movie night just delaying this from, from playing? No. Uh, yeah, yeah, Sovereign Citizens. We're sitting here uh, crapping around. Yeah, Sovereign Citizens and First Amendment Auditors, those are my, my new favorites to pick on. Moorish uh, Citizens. Moors, yeah, the Moors. Oh my goodness! Moors. I watched a video that, whoa, where they were like, new one to me. Uh, "We demand all white people give us reparations for oh, uh, those. for those well, people." The Moors they're are not. A, they're not. Yeah, they're they're version of sovereign right, citizens. Right. Right. Well, the they uh, I believe they claim citizenship of Morocco. Right. That's where they get the Moorish thing. Yeah. yeah. So they f they think that yeah. anybody that's an American citizen has taken their land from them and they have the legal right to assume it back from you at any point in time all they have to do is walk up read the moorish law out and your house is now theirs dead serious yep that's not i saw it and, and, and if you don't and you know yeah, and there's right. a there's another <laughs> one that so uh, goes through some sort of a equity court of some sort yeah and yeah. If you don't respond according it, it, grammatically according to their formula, they they don't accept it as a response, and they do yeah, a lot I, of I can't, numerology. I can't think of what uh, court uh, they they cite on that. Um, I don't know if it's the Seafarers Court or some other court that they cite. It's not the Seafarers Real, the Mar Court. It's, Maritime, uh, it's not the Maritime Court. No, no, Maritime okay. Court's real. Yeah, so but they, they cite... Maritime uh, court's I, real. I, I'd have to th remember what it is, but they cite laws regarding flags and how they should be flown, and then they'll say, well, you don't have the right to this house because you're not flying the flag of the nation that's owning it, and I mean, yeah, they're, and they're outrageous the flag people. And stuff like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, Talking all about right. the yellow fringe on the flag. Let's get back to our... Yeah, exactly, exactly, the fringe on the flag, exactly. All right, here yeah, we go. we've got a barn. We Where's got a barn you? fire to deal with here. <laughs> Sir, I had to study it in order to pass preschool. Yeah, but I, I've been. I know what the police academy training is. It's more like 
how to boot indoors, not to get sued, how to detain. He knows. Ball, Bobby, that. Detain. He's, they don't teach oh, we already got that one. We already got that one. Okay, so you don't want to provide me with your operator's license? I don't have to present yes, you with an operator's license. Your final as your final offer, well, final this is it. Are you Do you want to phone a friend? Uh, yeah, right. Am I being Would you like? To? Oh, there's, there's one. Oh, that's that's, me. Is that you, Bob? Or is that? Sure. I thought that no, was uh, Sean. Yeah, that was me. No, Sean's Sean's detained. Okay. Mine's detaining consent. All right. You're not being detained. You're being arrested. There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a transaction of security interest? If not, I'm not obligated to direct. Dire, you are not obligated to generate a punch <laughs> to pay your performance. So there's no reason for us to be talking. And if there is, you need my consent. And I do not oh, there consent is. to your consent. transaction of security Twice. interest. Are you was that, is that Who was me? consent? Consent is me. Yes, that's you. Oh, wait, that's Sean? Yep. Nice one. Good job, Sean. Way to take ownership of that of because I was, yeah, I was totally about to to put take all ownership of that fucking. It, as much as I would there. like to see you pass out on the table right now, no, I'm gonna take that one. <laughs> Stream will end before I pass out, hundred percent. I I would I don't drink that that heavily, so we'll see. Uh, or I won't I won't drink that heavily tonight is what I mean to say. God damn it, I'm even struggling saying that I won't drink it so much. All right. We have a couple of uh, super chats that came in. Ethan Chan for one dollar. Thank you very, very much, sir. I do appreciate it. Diabetic War Slug for five dollars, and this one's at you, Bob. Okay. Hey, fellow Michigander, does Bob think we should enter shelter protocol like New York, California, and Illinois? Also, on a positive note, loving the stream, guys. Thank you, Diabetic War Slug. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're having a good time. This was kind of an off-the-cuff thing. We don't really have anything planned. It's just thrown together to keep you from having to go outside to find entertainment. Sit down, enjoy the music, laugh at stupid with us, and just Watch fucking us get randomly, angry. randomly, Bob the Science Guy shows up. Bob the fucking Science Guy. So enjoy that while it's here. All right, so Bob, I just stopped by you... to say hi, and I ended up over here. Now, two things: one, yes, we should shelter in place. Two, hi, Pip. <laughs> yes, yes, I saw you in there, Pip. Hi. <laughs> I just didn't want to interrupt the the conversation. Oh, Pip's the, one of my favorite. Pip's one of my favorite folks out here. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Uh, okay, so Boggs uh, for two pounds says, uh, Hi, Bob. Terry Davies says hi. Oh, is Terry out in the chat? Oh, I have to go over there and say what's up to him. Uh, and then well, Silo, for one, Silo for one dollar. I'm not sure if there's a sticker or not. It's all underneath my screen. But um, Oh, I see Pip now. What's up, man? What's up? All right, let's see. Oh, Renee Enemy says... Uh, the chillaxing jazz in the background is awesome. I think it actually just ended. So let me go back to uh, the good ones. Yeah, it did actually. In fact, that happened, you said it just at the end of a 53 minute video. So I'm restarting it over with a 33 minute video and then a 53 minute video after that. All relaxing jazz music. See, I even want to say it all jazzy, you know. Like, I want to get in here and be like, hey, guys, welcome to Club Skeptic on 105.3, the jazz. Right now, we're getting all jazz right up in your panties. Yeah, drop them. You know they're good, baby. We love you, too. You see, Bob? I could be a jazz guy. <laughs> I'm strangely aroused. I know you are, Bob. If you're not, you've got issues. That's the real problem. All right, here we go. Are you leaving, ma'am? Am I being detained? Am I free oh, to go? Oh, detained. Not... Who's that? Is that Bob? That's me. That's me. Oh. <coughs> uh, I'll drink too. Just because oh I, I'm going to drink just because I feel a broken window coming on. And I'll drink when the broken window happens as well. Not being detained. I'm free to go. Oh, another detained. <laughs> Did you cut the audio? 
No, it's still playing. Oh, okay. Some people don't know the law. Like you? <laughs> I mean, I have my driving permit. Yeah, yeah. What? I'm, I'm completely legal, but I don't need that stuff to be traveling. Wait, 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 wait. A permit That's the whole though. Point. Oh, traveling. Who's that? I'm traveling. It, yeah, you're traveling, man. Is that me? Yeah, it's you. I, get... I took a shot at the wrong time because I just took a, a free shot. I'm going to take another one. John? What's up, Bob? Yeah, hey, Sean. Whenever Shit. whenever he asks who it is, just make sure you tell him it's him. Oh, wait. That wasn't me? Oh, wow. No, of We're course it to... wasn't you, but you took mine for me. Thanks. <laughs> uh, the Kaiser Cube says Team Skeptic the Moors scene from the movie True Blood I'll have to the movie True Blood or the TV show the HBO show T True Blood that I'm not 100% sure what you mean oh well now that's Blue Blood the police officer mo or TV show or whatever alright okay I'll, I'll check into that because I, I love watching it. I love watching dumpster fires and moors are fucking dumpster fires. Walking dumpster fires. Let's go. Well, back. this guy here, you, you see it escalating. You know that it's going to end up with a broken window. I'm telling oh, yeah. you, the broken window is on its way. Uh, we have a $5 from five Canadian dollars. Woohoo! Um, Odie the Fourth, I just watched that debate. I ran out of alcohol. Yeah, me too, right? My liver moved out and looked <laughs> and took the kidneys. I'm in so much pain. Wow. Can he answer a question at all? Bob, we need a medical condition to describe when there's so much stupid that you've drank so much alcohol that your liver moves out of your body and elopes with your kidneys. And takes the kidneys with them? Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see the medical term for that. Oh, yeah. Death. Death, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And it's permanent. There is no cure. Right? Yeah, yeah. We can get by We can get by with, you know, kind of missing the kidneys. But, you know, if you miss the kidneys and the liver, you're pretty much hosed. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with Bob. I agree with the doctor on this one. All right, here we go. Give people a hard time to generate revenue. Jesus, <laughs> can you come out of the vehicle? Yeah, that's exactly why why stop sign law stop sign laws and red light laws all exist uh, to generate revenue, not for the public safety, not because it would fucking maybe kill somebody to run a red light, run through an intersection at your own fucking desire, uh, without any kind of organization. Maybe that might be toxic to the to the community, or maybe not. Maybe they just want t money. For, from tickets. You know, in yeah. Alaska, it's illegal to throw a live moose out of an aircraft in flight. Is there because really you know a somebody did that? it? Is yeah. there really a you law? know somebody yeah. did it? You know somebody did it, and they said there should be a law, and there wasn't one, so they made one, so that nobody else would do that again. I feel sorry for Alaskans, Bob. If that's what their laws are designed around, people not throwing moose out of their fucking helicopters. I yeah. lived in Alaska for a Wait, couple of years. Wait, you say out of the helicopter or out of a moving vehicle? Out of an aircraft in flight. Any aircraft so, in flight. So if it's if it's not in flight, good to go. Yeah, you can kick it out. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, Just, no, the cool thing about Alaska is generally, unless it involves hurting somebody else, or dishonesty, it's not against the law out there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's, you know, it's there, there are certain rules that you have to follow up there. Um, <laughs> but, you know, you know, you get somebody to knock on your door in the middle of the woods and you put, you know, five rounds through a chest high, they're still going to fry you. But uh, generally, they kind of leave you alone up there. It's kind of a great place to live. In Alaska? I bet it is. Yeah, I bet it's beautiful. Except it's cold. It's like really, really cold, especially in Fairbanks where I was. <laughs> we have Kaiser Kaiser Cube says that's why because some fucktard did it. Yeah, I'm sure somebody exactly must have done it. some oh, fucktard did it. 
Hey, we have Geo Striber in the chat. Geo Striber, man, if you want to join. Geo's here. Hey, Geo. Yeah, let me let me send him an invite. Bring him on. We'll He's get a some... cool guy. Mm... For a European. Citation needed, Bob. Citation needed. Uh, look it up, like my dad used to always say. Oh, I I know. I love I love him. I, I owe him some video game time. Uh, also, Geo, just so you know, I've read the reviews on Doom, and a lot of people have told me already. Woo-hoo! Apparently, it's fucking amazing. That's just it. Apparently, it's fucking amazing. All right, Geo, if you want to join, you have an, an invite in your... Yeah, there it is. Okay. In your Discord, you have an invite. He, he said no, he just woke up. I'll not accept no yeah, for an it's answer. Gotta be right about, now. It's got to be about 7, 7.30 in the morning over there. Yeah, G- I Gio, I don't want to hear it. I've been up since 4 a.m. yesterday, so I'm going. I'm coming up on 24 hours. I don't want to hear it. He's in Germany somewhere, Does he think, think that Club Skeptic is real? Does he think that he, there's actually like a bunch of girls here to meet him and stuff like that? We don't care what you look like, Geo. Just rinse your mouth out so your breath doesn't stink and get on the microphone. Ba dum boom. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have another super chat. Jesse Jones for five dollars. COVID nineteen was created by flat earthers. Prove me wrong. You know, I made a comment on Facebook or on Twitter yesterday that says practice social distancing. Tell everybody you're a fucking flat earther because family, friends, and everybody else in the world will avoid you like the Black Plague. And that's the truth. All right? In fact, I might just go get a fucking a shirt that says on the front, practice social distancing, and on the back says, tell everyone you're a fucking flat earther. That shirt would sell. All right. Okay, we're not done yet. We've let, me tell you, let me tell you about the flat earth. That's, <laughs> I, I practice social distancing. Let me tell you about the flat earth. <laughs> right? Uh, ooh, Chris Katsoulis says, Team Skeptic needs to put on the mankini and join. No! Uh, I know where the mankini's at. It's actually accessible right now, and it's clean. I mean, I'm not wearing a mankini. I'm out of here, man. That's just, no, that's just too much Bob, I'm locking you. I'm locking you in so you can't leave, Bob. Uh, Theo Reddick. I feel like that guy in Clockwork Orange. (laughs) <laughs> well then I'm off to bed have a good one everyone watch out for them ghost team skeptic ooh yeah hey Theo man it was great seeing you the other day over in uh, some ordinary gamers uh, chat anytime man you see me just fucking harass the shit out of me let's fucking chat it up because I enjoy listening to them but I don't have any kind of fucking friends in their community or people I can chat with in their community so next time you see me over there be sure to harass me grab my attention and let's hang out and thanks for hanging out with us all night. All right, let's see. Uh, Geo Striber says, Sorry, Team Skeptic, but I got a pass. Really not feeling well enough. I've had a cough and a sore throat for a few days now. Hey, to be honest with you, Geo, I have too. Uh, in fact, my last video, I tried to record a video yesterday, and I could not get myself sounding right. No matter what I tried, it just always seemed like, like that. Like I was sniffling and I just felt like my nose, like I was pinching my nose. I sounded like I pinched my nose the entire time. So totally Except for one minor me. problem. Gio's in Germany and he's got a cough and a sore throat. You need to go get a swab, Chief. Just get it done. Okay? Oh, yeah. It's free. Uh, they're over there. They got plenty of tests and all that in Europe, right? No, he needs to get tested. He needs to get tested just to make sure because it's pretty rampant over there. Yeah, they have, they have a fifth of our population and five times the number of cases that we have. It's insane, in fucking insane, man. Um, in the memory. Right. So let's let's uh, let's get to the window break. I know it's coming, guys. I I'm gonna oh, take a so drink. Coming. It is coming. Listen, I'm gonna take a drink if they don't break his window because it's coming. Uh, can you get a Can you get a warrant? Oh, there, oh. Uh, no, nobody had warrant time, did they? I'll team drink did. Warrant. I'll drink to warrant just because.
I'm gonna get my little chaser, my little Dr. Pepper chaser. Make me feel like a real man. All right. You know, I always find that funny when I watch people drink. <laughs> they, they talk about how good it is and how smooth it is, but they always have a look of pain on their face. <laughs> I have a story about Jameson. I have, oh, wait. Uh, quit asking me to sprinkle them titties. Says video! All right, sorry, yeah, guys. Yeah, let's go You're, play the video because we know um, that that's coming. <laughs> yeah, we know that. <laughs> we, fuck you, Sean, by the way, with that comment. It is. It's smooth. My my alcohol is smooth right now, guys. I promise. Woo! Hey, sir, I'm gonna ask you to exit the vehicle. I'm sorry, ma'am. Just because of my security interest and myself, you're gonna have to get a warrant to get me out. Right. Uh, <laughs> Wait, am I warrant? Yep, I got I got yes. detained and consent. Okay, I can still take a, <laughs> I can still feel my face, so I can take another shot. He, he just can't go. move his tongue anymore. I did just happen yeah, to grab my it's bottle. Yeah, I now. I did just happen <laughs> to grab my bottle with no top on it, so. Uh, Bruja Ha says, Team Skeptic, I've never noticed your tattoo on your arm. That looks sick. You know, Bruja Ha, since we're doing this and it's a late night thing, I'll show you some of my tattoos when we get a chance. Uh, I got lots of them on my arms. I'm not gonna take my shirt off and show my chest or my stomach right now, but I'll show you the ones that are on my arms. I got some pretty badass ones. So, uh, okay. The shot, I'm gonna go ahead and play this, but I'm taking the shot. We're getting to the broken window. I feel In it In regards coming. to my driver's license and registration and insurance, are you under claim under full commercial liability that I have obligation to such a thing to exercise my common law right? Do you know that drive is defended as one Employed who conducts a coach, carriage, or other motor vehicles, refer, Revere's Dictionary, 1914, edition, page 940. Okay, sir, I'm not going by the dictionary, I'm going by... You got to, because that's what you're going by, is the law. And the law, the words in the law are by laws, by the, the Black Law Dictionary. By, 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 by so the law, by, by, job. by. I'm explaining to you so you know for the next guy. <laughs> that isn't a lawful order. Yeah. That's not a lawful order. Am I being detained? <coughs> nope, that's me. What's Drink it up, Sean. <sighs> Just did. And then uh, Kaiser Cube says, "Hey, Team Skeptic, that's not fair. Show, show, show. What? Uh, what did I not show? I don't know what the I tattoos. didn't show. Oh, the tattoos. Let's get to the end of this video, and and I'll definitely show you guys because." I have some really cool ones. And, uh, some I'm sober, I'll awesome. remind him. Yes, please do. I've never really properly showed off my Jack Nicholson tattoos. or my, Not my Jack Nicholson, my Joker tattoos that I'm super proud of. And I finally got, like, after watching the Joker, uh, the newest one, I know that I, what I want on the inside of my arm. So, uh, but... All right, let's get to the broken window so I can show what's off the, the section, tattoos. What's the subsection? What's the... What's... What's... Under what? You have to tell me. Can I get a supervisor? Yeah. Oh, that's a that's supervisor. one. Nobody, nobody had one this time for supervisor. No one had one for supervisor. Okay, well then that's a you, Sean. Uh, oh, fine. Steve, seventeen fifty-eight for one ninety-nine. Smash taser, grab cuff and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Smash taser, grab cuff and stuff. Yes, that order in particular is the the most efficient way for a cop to deal with the fucking sovereign citizen. Just saying. Pip says she has four tats here. Or he is it a I thought it, it's a girl, right? Pip? Yeah, Pip's a girl. Okay, Pip, I thought no, so. Okay. Pip's a girl. Okay, making sure. I thought I had heard that. I just wanted to be sure. Didn't want to with sound the like great, a with the greatest of accents in the world, the Scottish. Yep. Oh hell. All right. Let's I keep, keep calling going. her Australia, which I keep calling her Australian, which pisses her off. And, and guess it's who okay. started that, Skeptic? You did. <laughs> Call it, oh, yeah, because she was giving me <laughs> advice on Australian fundraisers. So I made an assumption. But what happens when you make, when you assume things, guys? Yeah. I make an ass out of me and me. 
Any right. questions? You? Yeah, you do, ma'am. You have to have a supervisor. If I ask you, I read your policy. Oh, God, Jesus, stay me too. Procedure and policy. That's what I wrote this off of. I, that's what I wrote this state, off of. Procedure and policy. Your constitution is the same constitution as the constitution of the United States. Okay, and that constitution is the same constitution as the constitution you're asking me to, but I'm telling you, I, I legally don't have to. Do you oh, know that yeah, the we'll privilege see. of using streets, highways, and the operations of here a motor vehicle carriage okay, for hire can be acquired by permission or license from the state of sub subdivision black law dictionary 6 edition page 920 do you know that statutory requirement that license be produced for motor vehicles used upon the highways statutory on servitude put on the highways by such a statutory that's not a word statutory <laughs> statutory well, it is now Hold well, on would that be yeah, would that be yeah, the constellation of kinser <laughs> yes statutory based on servitude Put on the highways by such a use and advantages which the improved highways may be offended the business on which the motor vehicle employed passive for southern right go nine one nine eight five se three six did i not go back far enough two one six new york code yeah and that's a supreme court case okay, and that's a supreme court case that's an unlawful order you know he that's wrote this whole order. thing up hoping that's that he would get pulled over unlawful. one of these days Oh yeah, yeah for, so sure. That he could use for it. sure. For sure. I'm sure he had a golden bow around it the first time he whipped it out. And he was like, oh, oh, oh. He's like pulling it apart. He's like, hold on, sir. I took a lot of time writing this. Please give me a moment to enjoy it before I read it to you. He's got one of those click on and off LED spotlights on his roof so he can like make it a golden glow. <laughs> oh yeah, no, he's probably got one he clips onto his head every time he reads it. <laughs> I have one like that. Yeah, I know you do, Bob. I know you do. Ah, I just give you a hard time. Come on, here we go. The window breaking is coming, Bob. I hope you're ready. Yeah, I know it is. Supervisor here. Do you know that statutory <laughs> duty applies for? Those there it is, right there. Statutory. 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 You gotta bring your supervisor here. Do you know that statutory duty applies statutory. for those who are present a driver's license for personal travel? Hold on, chat. Chat. Challenge to the chat. First person to spell statutory right gets a uh, gets popcorn. Gets a shout out. I'll give I'll give the the first person that spells statutory right or the most creatively uh, gets a free super chat. So re spell statutory right. Leave your your uh, super chat message afterwards, and I'll read it out in a second. Since they're on delay, we'll go ahead and play this. As persons is not in the case of persons whose benefit or protection to the statue was enacted. Ruff versus Quinn. 20 the statue? The statue? I am operating an automobile. It's not an, a motor or vehicle. Listen, ma'am, it's not a... <laughs> Blair Sadowitz. State Utei. Statue <laughs> Sorry, I'm Motor reading these vehicle. great. Look at these. Look at these comments. I am in commercial, and I'm, I'm oh, wow. operating commercial capacity. I'm traveling. I'm not for hire. Oh, no, that's one. That's one. Who had traveling? That's Bob. Bob. Ah. All right, come on, Bob. So I am. You're 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 getting really oh. bad words. What? No, oh, that's not a word yet. Version. Oh, it's not over yet. The window hadn't broken. The hell's he smoking? No, it's coming though. It's really coming. He's vaping with a cop. He's like, yeah, he's looking over at the camera like, you know, I'm right, right? You agree with me, right? Is this a different video? Because he's wearing a different hat. No, that's no, the same video. It, no, that's him. It's just perspective, Sean. I don't know why the police think they're driving You know what I'm saying? Putting people at risk out here. They can't see the road. She's mad because I flashed her. Why'd you? Oh my God! You flashed her, so you ran high beams in her light, in her eyes, and got pulled over. And now you're bitching. You. This is Bob. I really dislike people like this. People that try to force a situation. 
They don't let this shit, shit hap happen organically. If he knows his rights, and he feels like he's well within his rights, then he'd just go about his business, and he'd probably never get pulled over. But the thing is, is he probably wanted to flex his rights and get a camera ready for him so he can make a video and get a few hits on YouTube. And what he did, he said, oh, they're not just pulling me over for nothing. Well, what should I do? Let me go ahead and flash one of them. So as they drive by, he says, there's one right there. Flashes them with high beams to get their attention and then bitches when they give them the attention. You know, unfortunately, this is not a good situation and it's not recommended to flash a cop. They had a 17-year-old kid in Eaton County that flashed a cop and ended up getting killed over it. The cop killed him. And, you know, <coughs> one of the things that I always told, you know, because he had an attitude like this and escalated the situation with the cop and ended up getting shot. And, you know, I've always told my kids, I got six lawyers, man. Yes, yes sir, no, sir, we'll deal with oh, it yeah. in court. That's right. That's right. All That's right. what I told my kid. I said, you, if you but get you come beat home. up, I, I told him, I said, if you get beat up or shot, it's probably your fault. So just keep that from yeah. happening. When they come up to you, right. let them know, put your hands up in the air, Put take your keys out of the ignition, put your hands up and say, sir, whatever you tell me I'm going to do, you'll know whether they're telling you to do something that you should not do. If you get out and you see it's not a cop car, don't get in it. If you get out and you see the guy's not wearing a proper uniform or a proper badge, and not every time you can even tell, but, I mean, just do what the fucking cop says, and you'll get out of there 99.99% yeah. of the time. Do what the cop says. And if they violate your rights, man, that's fine. We'll that's deal with it later. That's beautiful. Don't yeah, we'll deal, deal with that with in court. Don't do it on the side of the road. Exactly. Yeah, don't deal do it, it on court. the side of the road. All right, and then we have a... Um, we have a five dollar Aussie, five Aussie dollars from Huge Arse. It says, "Do your best, Nathan Thompson impersonation." I think he's talking to you, Bob. I don't think he's talking to me. I don't think he wants me to do a, a Nathan Thompson impersonation, right? I mean, he's talking to you, right? No, he doesn't want me to do a Nathan. Oh, Thompson come on, Bob. impersonation. I haven't drank enough tonight to be able to do a Nathan Thompson impersonation. Are, are you, you saying know, you still have too many active brain cells? I have too many Time? active brain cells, which means, and 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 the key word is two. <laughs> All right. It's two more than he has. For I love see, that, you. see, that's why we like Bob. <laughs> oh yeah, Bob's great. Bob's great. Uh, but my my best Nathan and Thompson impersonation. Hmm. Come on. Sean. Lean over Sean. the fence. No, yeah. Sean. Yeah. Ask me how a lunar eclipse is possible on a flat earth. So, so Natalie, how is a lunar possible. eclipse possible on a flat earth? Well, you see, light is going to have different colors as it goes through the different mediums of refraction. And that's how the lunar eclipse happens on a flat earth. They're hey, just light it. sources in the sky, guys. Uh, not much more you can say. Anything else you're asserting is not scientific, and you're just showing your scientific illiteracy. Uh, if you'll just excuse me for a moment, I must check in with my pre-trial uh, supervision. Please excuse me. I'll be back in a seven months. Well, you, you had a weak beginning, you had a strong middle, and you started to taper off at the end. All right, so now <laughs> now we're going to we're going to read off some of these absolutely beautiful spellings. A lot of people are actually spelling it pretty damn close to correctly, statutory, but they're statutory, statiatiary, stature tilly, statiary. Saint Actuary with a small T. Everything else was <laughs> completely capitalized. Statuary. Statuary. Uh, Statuary. St oh, now there's people. Stationary. That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty damn close spelling to statutory. Statuary. Statuary. That's a good one. Nathan Nicholson. Statuary. Statuary. 
That's the one. That's how he says it. Statutory. That was statutory, guys. All right, here we go. The window break is coming. The pretty nice is. lady cop is a, is being nice. She's giving him opportunity to get out. He's not taking advantage of this opportunity, guys. Broken She's window not there the to serve cookies, man. Got three of my children back here with me. Couldn't even see the road. Gave her a flash. Oh Christ! He's got three kids in the car too. Oh, I got two kids. No! Oh no! He, 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 oh my God! <laughs> oh well, I'm sorry. I just miscounted. That happens I miss, often. I miscounted the number of kids I have. Must have left one back at the. Uh, yeah, no, must that's have left good. one back at the big <coughs> I swear to God, when we walked out of the door, I had three kids with me. But I got two now. Must have miscounted at house, the beginning. Man. Yeah, check the house, waffle man. house. Oh God, this guy's fucking stupid. Comes Holton Lake's finest. <laughs> I hope so. He's trying to go for that basic bro look. He, he probably can't afford. He, yeah, he he can't afford to fucking feed his kids. And him and his wife were talking, and they were like, "How do you think we can make money? Well, we could always just fucking. I could be a sovereign citizen." And get arrested, and we can say the city violated my rights. No, you're just going to end pause up. real quick. I, I want to bring something up. For your safety. Now, now he talked about how he had a learner's permit. As soon as he signed that learner's permit, he agreed to abide by all traffic laws of the state. He gave up any sovereign citizen rights that he could possibly think of and pull out of his butt when he did that. Doesn't matter what he's researched, what he's written down. He agreed to follow the state's laws. You know what they Dude. don't understand is under the Constitution, traveling means you can freely go from one state to another without a passport. Yeah. Is that really what it means? I've never really looked into it. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't mean, you know, you need a you need a permit to operate a motor vehicle on public roads. Oh yeah. Why? Because yeah. they say you do. Yep. Uh, and but you can go. I, I can go down to Indiana anytime I want without getting stopped at the border and having to pass through customs. Thank uh, God. Ter Terry Davy says, uh, "Huh? Is that you? Where is that? Is that Sir Terry? Is that Sir Terry? Terry Davies? That's what Terry on the end. Terry. Ha <laughs> ha. Is that Sir Terry? Yep, that is that Terry. Is that Sir Terry? Is, is that Sir Terry?" <laughs> I like that one, Terry. Good shit, man. If you don't Good one. And she's being so nice to him, too. That's a Michigan State cop. They're normally pretty decent. They're, they're now, kinda, she just told him that she forcibly removed him from the vehicle. Oh, she did? She warned him? Yeah. It's coming. Yeah. Oh, it's coming. goodness. It's coming, guys. It's coming. Do you have a supervisor present? Oh, who's the super? Oh, that's Bob. That's Bob. Supervisor Bob. <laughs> All right. Good shit, Bob. Way to go. Well, you need a supervisor. No, I don't. Yes. You know, we got to take it. Get... I don't want She's going to tase break him. Window either. Oh, 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 no. I just oh, did it. Coming. No, no. And they're going to copyright strike me for this if I play any of this. No, hold on. I got to go back. What did you do? You know All right. you're only allowed to do that if there's been a crime committed? Oh, it's playing. Get back to it. And... <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Almost failed. Well, if you break my window, I will sue you. Okay. United, listen, I don't want you to... Everybody, ahead of time, prepare. Prepare. I got it. Okay. Here we go. Countdown. To know this Three. on record because I have a video recorder. I want you to know before your guys' own, you, so you know, United States Code 42, <laughs> subsection. I love this. He knows it's coming. He knows it's coming. He brought it on himself. He knows it's coming. He's got his kids there. What a fucking piece of shit parent. 19, Here we go. It's U.S. Code 42, section 1983, 1983, asshole. It says. You can sue the police officer directly, not the, not your agency or the, your whatever. Sir, I don't want to be like that. Sir, do you have a driver's license? I do. Okay. All you have to do is produce it to us. But I, 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 I have a permit. 
that's valid and it's still good. <laughs> she has a license, that's, so I can drive. That's all but you to do I know that's right. what you want, but legally no, no, I'm traveling, legally, so you're required to. Yeah. Nerthan Terpson. Nerthan Terpson says, "Everybody now, break that window." Oh, we have requests for full screens as well. Full screens coming up, guys. Full screens of the window break. We gotta have the window break on full screen. We cannot do the window break on half screen. Window break on full screen. Yeah, if I coming up, if, guys. I know if if I'm if I'm driving. I know. I want you to hear me out. If I'm driving and Black's Law Dictionary driving says I'm operating in commercial capacity, I'm traveling. I'm not. I'm not on the oh. making money. Bob, you're just drinking it up, dude. I'm traveling. <laughs> we gave Bob the wrong numbers for this one. I, I think Bob the wrong at this point. <laughs> yes, he does. You know. Oh, come on! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, disappointment. Ah. <laughs> uh, the coronavirus is killing me, and all I want before death is a broken window of a fucking sovereign citizen. And I can't get one. Okay. So, because he did get one. You know warned. what that was? You know what that was? That was right at the end of the video where it says, and join our gold club to see the finale. <laughs> yes. You know? Yes. That's the one. That, that's it. I've right been watching there. this for 40 minutes. Yes. Come on, give me the last two. All right, all right. So we did have one request for my for my. Uh, <coughs> I do not consent. Yeah, that was Geo. Geo said I do not consent was his bet. Didn't make it. Didn't get anyone. He just gave up. He ended up going bitch made. Just like oh yeah, no no good one. Kaiser Cube hashtag bitch made. Yeah, not hashtag sovereign citizen fucking life. So sov sit life. No hashtag that. Hashtag bitch made because that's what he is. All right. Yep. So you guys want to see my tattoos? So I'm going to show you a few of my tattoos. Well, first skeptic, one is this one. Yeah. I uh, I am 14 minutes from 24 hours of being awake, so I am going to bow out. I'm sorry, I missed the first half. I, again, I oh, had a you're good prior obligation. Uh huh. So Bob, nice nice to get into a hangout with you again. It's always fun. Oh yeah, good time seeing you again, man. All right. So. I'm probably so the audience gonna, watching. I, I've got, I got Go another ahead. 14 minutes myself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. So, I'm about to. I'm about to end it here in a second. Uh, I might play some video games if the guys if the guys want to see me kill get kill and get killed. But uh, we can end <laughs> this part where we have our, our good time. Um, first off, Bob, I want to say I'm a huge fan, and because we didn't get our window uh, break for the evening. This shot's for you, in honor of Bob. Bob the Science Guy and his amazing YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, there you go, my man. Subscribe. So, to the audience, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for watching and <laughs> keeping skeptics some company while he's quarantining himself, I guess. <laughs> and y'all have a good night. Yes. All right, Sean, take it easy, brother. We'll see you around, man. All right, so Bob. I'm going to kind of wrap this up a little bit, I guess. Um, like I said, I just wanted to do this to kind of help people, give people an alternative. There's people that are being forced to not go out tonight. There's there's people that are forced to do that, right? It's against their will, against their choice. And me and you, we just, we're here providing them an opportunity to, to enjoy life without having to spend thousands of dollars on Jameson shots. Are you not entertained? Are you not? Listen to that music. Oh my gosh, man. We have some good music here. This is Club Skeptic Goes we gotta Hard. We got to do this again, man. Oh, I have a DJ. Again. Oh, I have a DJ, Bob. Okay. I've already spoke to a DJ who's um, a good friend of mine. He's a great DJ, but he's a professional DJ. He gets paid for what he does, right? There's no work out there right now because everybody just canceled every live event that he had. I'm not even kidding. Every live event he had, he got canceled in one single day. Not And, and it sucks yep. because this dude, Mike's a really good dude. He, he was my DJ from back in the day when I was like doing hip-hop music. 
and he grew like he grew up to be like he grew to be a uh, a, a pretty prominent DJ in Dallas where I took things in another direction and moved away from music. Well, I called him up and I was like, hey, I want to do these like uh, club skeptics where I just kind of have a relaxing environment for people to take their mind off of what's going on in the world with all this uh, lockdown and stay at home and quarantine and, you know, self-isolate and all these other things that are being told to us that are not normal to us. Normally, humans like to go out and listen to music, have a few drinks and enjoy the crowd. We can't do that right now. The chat we are social is animals. your crowd. We Yes, you're right. And right now what we're doing <coughs> in an effort to help curb the, uh, the, the coronavirus spread, we're offering people a place to socialize online in a safe environment where we can't pass diseases. So everybody out there, look to the person to your right in the chat and give them a hug. Look to the person on the left, give them a fist bump, because they ain't getting it from nobody in real life, and that sucks. Wrap so they're going to get it from in, you today. Wrap yourself in saran wrap first. Oh, we're good online, Bob. We're good online. <laughs> Unless you're sending me a virus right now. Don't be doing that shit. Nah. No, I, 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 yeah, uh, we got Pip out here, and I got somebody here from Indiana, Mother of Dragons, says hi to me from Indiana. Mother of Dragons is awesome. Is she in the uh, chat right now? She sure is. I have not seen her in forever. Mother of Dragons, how are you doing? It was so nice. It's so good to see you. Uh, Brenda Paduch says, Team Skeptic and Bob, this has been great. Thank you so much. Pipperot, thanks, Team Skeptic. Sean Hufford, Bob the Science Guy, sorry I missed out on most of it, and thanks uh, for the shout out. Pip, no big deal at all. I'm going to be doing this pretty regularly yeah. until uh, YouTube. Well, a couple of things. I've already discussed this a little bit. And Bob, you might, as the creator, you know, th let's give the, the viewer a little bit of insight. Did you get the notification discussing um, content being removed? excessively over the next couple of months no okay no i had go check that, that out yet. youtube is going to be removing know. its uh human element to the um to the monetization and verification process so basically all channels needing to be uh verified for um for monetization or joining the partner program pretty much that ain't gonna happen anymore if you're a smaller channel, like maybe under 100,000 subs, and you have a yellow monetization symbol, you're probably not gonna get yellow monetization symbols. They're either going to give you green or remove your content immediately from YouTube. And they said that in the email, it says that. It says, in fact, let me go. I wanna That's pull it up. That's kinda stupid. You know, well, the thing about that is, is they don't apply any common sense to that. You know, I've gotten yellow demonetization symbols and then I appeal them and they all get overturned, like almost every single one of them. And shouldn't that count for something? I mean, if the algorithm is making a mistake, humans are overturning it. Shouldn't that be inputted somehow? And, you know, I get like a gold star next to my name. And if I want to talk about coronavirus or something or other, I'm a damn doctor. Yes. I mean, who do you want you talking can. about coronavirus? And they still take me off for it. All right. Give me give me one second because I just received an email from Nathan Thompson asking oh, me to un to unblock him. So I'm gonna unblock no. him so the live chat can have some fun with him. Oh, I didn't God's I didn't sake. block him in the first place. It was somebody else. But at the same time, yeah. I do want to say that. Whoever blocked him has every fucking right to block him. My moderators, I have good moderators, Bob. Uh, well, I'll tell I, you what. Since I, I happen, trust them. I happen I to be them. one of your moderators. Here's here's what we do. Let him in. Talk about so that we could give him some hope, and I'll block him immediately. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Let's see. Why is Team Skeptic hidden? Oh, that's right, because Team Skeptic is the fake Team Skeptic. And somebody hid Joey Rocha. I'm not. I'm gonna unhide Joey Rocha because I, I like when he comes in. Okay, so moderators. He's an interesting since, character. 
mo I want the moderators in the chat to understand something. You don't necessarily block toxic people, hide non toxic people. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hide and block toxic people. Just mute non toxic people. Willie Fister? What the hell? Why is he blocked? Oh my god, I can't believe that. Let me. I gotta message him and explain to him that. All right, hold on. <laughs> There's a check. <laughs> um. Oh wow, this one says FTFE doesn't care that Patrick Shank something. I don't want to read that. All right, hold on. I'm looking for Nathan right now. Sorry. Like Gary Wabanga's block. Mm, that was probably a bit. Oh, excessive. he's a real winner. And uh, yeah, but I think the chat would actually have more of a fun time uh more of a fun time picking on him than anything i can't believe that willie fister was blocked somebody must have accidentally did that i need to message him and oh that him happened i haven't seen him i have not seen him in forever and i have no idea why um and then I he see was him blocked there. yeah he was blocked uh nathan thompson isn't blocked on my channel let me go through it one more time. I hate this. I hate having to fucking. <laughs> I'm just looking at this block list and I'm like, who? Oh, there he is right there. Okay. Yeah, he's unblocked now. All right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm at 23,996 subscribers. I need four more fucking subscribers to cross 24,000, Bob. Please log on to yeah. your four sock accounts. Please log on to all your Does that mean I accounts. probably ought to, at least, I ought to at least subscribe to you now? I Yeah, you need to be subscribed to me already, Bob. I gave you moderate. I gave you a wrench. <laughs> you better be goddamn subscribed. You and Blue Marble Science, y'all better subscribe to me. You know All right. I am. Oh, I know you are. I know you are. You're, you're you're one of my. I'm telling you, you. I do listen. Okay, I'm gonna give my list of of content creators I listen to. Of course, fight the flat earth, right? Always. Uh, he's a my business partner. I have to listen to him. Simon Dan and Conspiracy Cats. I love Simon Dan for his comedy. I love Conspiracy Cats. I I honestly, honestly, honestly think. That of us, all, the entire group of us out there, uh, Conspiracy Cats is the funniest. He's the best creator all around. Comedy, editing, uh, he knows how to engage the audience. Uh, you, you can talk about his character writing and his performing. It's all, it's the whole package with him. And I, I truly think that he's com blows me out of the water. He deserves every sub he has. Uh, Simon yeah. Dan's very, very interesting, very likable character, uh, has a, a, a beautiful man face. I'll say that about Simon Dan, has a beautiful man face. Uh, if I was into people that had men faces, I would be totally into Simon Dan. Even if I was looking for a person that had a man face with no legs, I would all be about Simon Dan, 100%. Um, then there's Brainy Beaver and Radical, my two underdogs. I listen to them because yep. I like watching them because they, they really, <clears throat> when I think about my co contribution to the internet, my contribution to this YouTube community, I see Radical and Brainy Beaver and even Creaky to an extent as people that I found, people that had no real following. I think Radical maybe had 300 subscribers, Brainy maybe had two or 300 subscribers. And I, I, I had an opportunity to use my platform to help out other channels. And the channels that I helped out were Creaky Blinder, Radical, and Brainy Beaver. Those three uh, covered my Daniel Pratt uh, saga the, with him copyright striking me with no fucking, didn't ask anything. I didn't even know who those guys were until they covered it. And I was like, you know, because you covered it and I have a lot more subs than you, let me help you out, you know, let me do something for you. And I, I had them come on to my, uh, to this, like, community video I did. But I watch them. I've, I've been watching all three of those creators ever since. Creaky's, if he hasn't passed me yet, he's about to pass me. Creaky's an amazing, he passed uh, you. 
He passed you? Yeah, I'm sure he's passed me. Let me Yeah, he passed it, me. If, if he's passed me, I will no longer support him. I only support creators that have less subscribers than I do. Uh, speaking of which, Fight the Flat Earth, if you're listening to this, you're approaching the Team Skeptic limit. Uh, be sure not to not to cross that. You cross that limit, I cross you. Remember that fight. Just remember. All right. Creaky Blinder. Let's go look. If he does, I swear. You know, to, oh, my God. If, I, if he does, it's on. He's probably 20. He's probably 23, 25. I want to give a, a fucking. This is my, my shout out. My clap. My hands up. Look, I'm, I'm adjusting my camera because the camera has to look at me. Creaky. You're probably not seeing this because it's much later in the fucking video. You don't watch my live streams like you should because you should, but you've passed me. You son of a bitch. You have no hair. You have no hair, Creaky. Hold on. Bob, I'm sorry. I got to go full screen for one second so you can catch this. It wouldn't be proper for me to rant without being full screen. Creaky, you have no fucking hair. Nobody even understands what the fuck you say. You don't even speak proper English. You speak some Scottish Highland fucking Welsh nonsense that is a bunch of fucking words jumbled together. I could call my dog in here right now. He could give me a more complete English statement than you can. And you have more subscribers than me? You deserve it. You're an amazing content creator. I'm so glad that I've had the opportunity to work with you. Um, if there's anybody that passed me up first, it was you. Well, Conspiracy Cats did it first, and I'm sorry, but as good as you are, there's still big boy out there that's just big dick in everybody. But I want to tell you, Creaky, I do love you, man, and you're an amazing person. Thank you for all everything you're doing for this community, and I hope you see this. If you don't, I'm going to force you to watch this because we do talk. You know this. I know this. Not everybody does. But we talk, I'm going to make you watch this, you're going to listen to the jazz in the background, and you're going to realize that everything that's coming out of me right now is nothing but love for you, because I do, Creaky, I do. You're an amazing dude. I'm sure Bob agrees with me. I'm sure there's nobody in the chat that will disagree with me, Creaky. I, it's been a pleasure knowing you. Just remember me when you have 100,000 subscribers, and when you come fucking flexing your check mark in my fucking live chat like Simon Dan did, uh, just make sure you remember that I was there for you when you only had about 10 subscribers. Other than that, we're going to kick it back over to Bob the Science Guy. Creaky is an amazing guy. And, you know, it's funny that you mentioned those specific ones. Because Radical, uh, Creaky, Brainy Beaver, these are all guys that I picked up on real about the same time you did. Casual Spaceman. These are all really great small creators. Uh, Dead Kennedy in space, you know, good guy. Yep. So that's the great thing about this community, man. You find these little hidden gems and you have a chance to showcase them a little bit. And, you uh, know, it's just, it's just, it's great to do it. Yeah. No, you're, you're a hundred percent right, man. And, and, even you, Bob, you've been a gem to me because I think when I first saw you, I don't think you had four or five thousand subs, and now you're pushing on me. I'm gonna be having one of these rants about you, Bob. But guess what? You deserve it too, man. You put out great material, and it's a it's different. I don't like people that are like me. You know, like I don't watch people that are yeah. rude and arrogant and you know, disrespectful and pieces of shit and human trash. I don't watch them because then they look like me and I have to accept the fact that that's me on a, you know, in a, on another channel. But when it comes to like you, Creaky, Radical, Simon, Dan, Conspiracy Cats, y'all are like my polar opposite. And I think that's why I'm so drawn to y'all's material is because you're just so good at, at doing what I feel like I can't. I can't be the nice guy. People would call me out. People would say, you're not the nice guy because I can't do it. It's impossible. It's it's fake. To me, you understand that, right? I mean, do you, you understand oh, yeah. that concept? That it, we have our styles, I, and my style has always been a nice one, and you tend to be a little bit more abrasive on it. You know, a little more in I, the I face type abrasiveness. And that's you. It. And there's nothing wrong with that. You, you, you never cross lines, man. You're not oh, abusive. And then I, you're abrasive. Missy, 
Yes, I, that's one thing. I don't. I stay away from personal issues. I try to be very yeah. like factual with it, but I also am very mean with my factuality. Uh, and I'm okay. I accept that. But Misty Chamberlain points out a great point. For the love of cheese, and I hate fucking cheese. Bob, I've never been t- tested for any allergic reactions or lactose intolerance or anything like that. But if I put any dairy in my mouth, any dairy whatsoever, I will have wo- saliva just oozing, oozing out of my face. I can't stop it. Cause it's, you in love fact, it, man. You it, love it. Oh, it makes, it makes me you up. drool. Uh, I know, right? I know, right? You would think. Uh, you would think. I'm drooling right now looking at the Jameson bottle. Uh, I'm drooling on this thing. But I can't. Like, it's because I love it, right? But that cheese, uh uh-uh, makes me sick. Can't do it. Makes me drool. But she said, for the love of, ooh, almost broke my monitor with my Jameson bottle. For the love of cheese. Mention Mr. Sensible. Yes, another great content creator, Mr. Sensible. Mr. Sensible, Blue Marble Science. Blue Marble Science. I I watch both of those guys. I watch both of them. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Another... (laughs) <laughs> Wolfie, Wolfie 6020 is out there. Uh, let's see, who can we name? Wolfie's the guy think? that got me started. Wolfie started me. <clears throat> so, okay. My story and is a Sir little Sick. bit different. Sir Sick, wow. Okay, yeah. Me and Sir Sick have a, um, have some, uh, some, a video coming up. Like, we, we haven't picked one, a good one out yet. But we have a video coming up that I'm, I, I intend on doing with him. Um, let me go through the rest of the Super Chats because I, I don't want them to get too far away from me. And I'm just now realizing I still have a so, It would be so cool if the three of us could get together and go through some videos. I'd love to be on with Sir Sick. You want to be on with Sir Sick? Oh, yeah. Sir Sick was I'm, probably, I'm a, You know what, Bob? Because I, I like... Sir Sick not, was the guy that got me into this. Okay, and so then not, Wolfie sealed the deal. Not because I like you as a person, but because I think you're an amazing content creator. I'm gonna do what I can to make that happen. No matter what, if oh, I'd, Sir Sick I'd ends up that. on my channel for anything, you will be the first person that I invite. Uh, Give me a let's note, see. man. I'd love to come. Ranger Man 9404 for $5. A Massachusetts State Trooper would have arrested him an hour ago. I guess he's talking about that. She everything's was very backwards. Nice Look, everything's backwards to me. Like when I I see the video here, right? Here's my face. Here's my face. And that's where the video is in my direction, but it's really over there for some counterintuitive reason. It's cuz I'm looking at myself in the mirror, but I'm not getting a mirrored reflection. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always reverse my videos. Yeah, makes I it easy. I reverse my cameras. It makes it a lot easier, and I'm basically a lazy person. So, you know, I, I, if I put my hand over one way, I, that's the way I want to see the hand going. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, Night Fox for 200 yen says, Don't hug me, Team Skeptic. Well, you know exactly what's coming. Oh. Uh, Whiskey Skeptic is hugging people in the chat now, guys. Whiskey Skeptic. That's what we're going to call me tonight. <laughs> if I could hug you right now, Bob, you'd be getting a big old fat one. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to lie. Uh, Angela, I just have member. to come down to Dallas for that, man. Oh, don't don't threaten me with a good time, because I'd definitely call you up on it. Uh, Angela, a new member, thank you so much. Let's see if my emoji chat thing is not going to fuck with me tonight. Let's see. We give you dingers. It's fucking with me, of course, right? Heat Shield wants Angry Bob. Angry Bob! Angry Bob, Angry Bob requires anti-vaxxers. Oh, God, Bob. I'm, I'm, Anti-vaxxers I'm bring out Angry Bob. Oh, wow. Look at Mark. Mark Visor says, Team Skeptic, unsub for the no cheese bizarre, bizarro-ness. Hey, I'm being honest with you there, Mark. You know me in you real life. You can come on over to my channel. I love cheese. Yeah, go over there if you want bad gas. Some some lactose influence gas coming out of your 
other end. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the new membership. I do appreciate that. Uh, let's see. I think I have one more super chat. Let me get to that one last super chat. And I think we're going to wrap it up here, Bob. I think this is getting pretty close to to end time. To end times. End yeah, times. Yeah, I just got a little bit left in there, man. So, I'm running out have, of booze, so it's time to go to bed. I still have a little bit of my bottle left. But. Of course, now I'm blind with this homemade wine. But. Bob, we need to get you some of this, man. Some Jameson. Put some hair on your chest. You know you need You know, some. the thing that I... The thing that I like is, uh, let's see, Crown Royal Apple. Hey, that's the nah, stuff I like. That nah. is good stuff. Look, I used to do what's called the man shot, right? And it was a shot of Jameson followed by, no, I'm sorry, a shot of Crown Royal followed by a shot of Jameson. That was your chaser, was Jameson as a chaser. No, I take that back. It was Jameson first, then Crown Royal, because Crown Royal's a little bit smoother, like Sean was saying. It doesn't make my beer face come up so much. It doesn't make me go like this. Hold on. Let me show you. Let me let me stop reenacting it and let me just act it. Let me just do it for you. Alright. Yeah, I like uh, I like Jose Cuervo too, so. You know, the one cool thing about Flat Earth is it's, I, I never was a drinker, but it's teaching me to drink hard liquor. Flat Earth is driving me to hard liquor. Hey, I'll be right back, Bob. I need to go use the bathroom before I take this shot. All right. You never know what's going to happen. I'll just sit here and entertain everybody. Good. Now he's gone. Let's talk crap about Team Skeptic. All right, folks. It was really nice to get on this channel tonight. I don't get to talk to you guys very much, and I don't go on many of the shows. But it's fun to just sit down and relax with you all, have a little smooth jazz in the background. Try and figure out why only 2.4% of my subscribers are female. I, I just don't understand it. Ladies, am I ugly? Am I not interesting to talk to? Hit that little subscriber button, ladies. But yeah, I'll tell you, it's been quite a journey on YouTube. It's been an awful lot of fun. And I'll tell you, I enjoy every video that I put out. And I enjoy every... Yeah, here, here's the cool thing about being a YouTube creator. I went to a conference in Phoenix last October. And a fan took me out to dinner while I was there. I mean, there are people that I, I've come to know <coughs> from every state in the, yeah. in the nation and countries all over the world. It's just kind of cool. All right, Bob, I don't there. even remember what I, I, I don't remember what I was about to take the shot for. You were going to take a shot to show the face. Oh, yeah, to show that face. Oh, my God, that face yep. I make is... Show us the face. How many... Uh, t two h 2AHD Cat says, How many Legos did it take to make Team Skeptic? One too many. And not enough in the head region. Alright, here's that face that we're going to make. And I'm not trying to... I'm just going to let it happen naturally, Bob. Just let it out, man. You got to go full screen. Be a man, be a man. <coughs> I like the bubble sound effect in the background. I know, right? Heat Shield says, wait, are we done talking about, talking shit about Team Skeptic yet? No. No, we're not done. Bring it on. Bring it on, Heat Shield. Bring it on. Oh, Team Skeptic from Night Fox for 500 yen. Team Skeptic? I br did I say team? No. 
from Night Fox for 500 yen at Team Skeptic. I prefer Johnny Walker. I do like Johnny Walker too. Oh God. I'm watching my replay right now. <laughs> oh, I need to show off my tattoos. I just remembered. Yep. Okay. I wasn't so going to remind you of that, but you did promise. So I'm going to show off just a, a few of them. I'm not going to show anything like none of the, I'm not going to show my nipple stars. I'm not going to show the stars that cover my nipples, but this one, oh wait, these two right here. These are my two. See, this is why, like I see like this and it makes me want to turn this way to show more, but it's not, it's turned the other way. So that's my Jack Nicholson. That's a pair of jokers. Yep, pair of jokers, exactly. And then on the inside of my arm is going to go the man who smiles, which is what the recent Joker was. Uh, uh, it, it's what, like, the whole reason I wanted to do this whole Joker thing is, like, that's my character in, the, in comics. I love the Joker. I follow him everywhere. I, like, follow all of his comics, all of his history. I understand this le last video, uh, the last movie that came out. I understand what its purpose was. It gave the Joker a uh, a reliable history to branch away from, like a, a, a true origin story to branch away from. Any Joker that moves forward can be attributed to the same Joker that was in the film The Joker that just came out. Even the Heath Ledger Joker, the, uh, the Jack Nicholson Joker, which was alluded to in the film. So there was a lot of like... I really, really, really enjoyed that film, and I was already aware of the Man Who Laughs, which is a, uh, which is an old 1920s black and white film. Uh, I believe it was a silent film, uh, if not, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, I, I think it was just a, it's it's inspirational, and I get I get a really good deal on on tattoos. Like I my sponsor's a tattoo company. In fact, see this guy's, Bing Bing, that's my sponsor. They don't pay me. They don't buy me anything. The guy's known me my entire life and believes in me. If I need something, he helps me out. That's what it is. Uh, eventually, all these wall spaces back here will, is all going to have art from their tattoo artists who are amazing tattoo artists. Artistic Encounter Tattoo, AETattoo.com. But uh, Brandon Albus, a guy named Brandon Albus did these two. Then we had uh, Kevin Hicks. He did this one. I have one more session left on this one. This one's cool, Bob. You might actually like this one. This is a, a painting by Isaac Newton. It was the Green Lion and the Gold Sun. If you uh, ever looked that up, right? There's a story that goes mm -hmm. behind this thing. I have one more color session left in this uh, in this arm part right here. But uh, the Green Lion represents lead. The um, blood coming when he's you see how he's biting into the sun and the, it's you can't really see it but there's blood on the teeth and it's going to drip down to this little star of david right here well the green lion and the sun represent gold and lead lead being the green lion gold being the sun the red the blood in the picture represents what's called philosophical mercury apparently Isaac Newton had the uh, the equation. He hid the equation to converting to, to alchemy, converting lead to gold. He hid the equation in that painting. Nobody's ever figured it out, obviously, because nobody knows what philosophical mercury is. They've discovered, they've kind of eliminated the fact that it's a green lion representing gold and that it's, or I'm sorry, lead, and that it's the sun representing gold. So they've kind of got that figured out, but at the same time, it's not 100%. But they're almost 100% that he hid a lot, many, many different mathematical equations and instructions inside of pictures because at the time, uh, number one, <coughs> they say that Isaac Newton was probably one of the biggest alchemi alchemists in the, uh, in the kingdom at the time. In the in the you know during his time and that was something where it was a time when the possession of gold represented power so anybody that could turn something as common as lead into gold was someone who could generate power for himself without being born into power which is how her hereditary type things work so for out for Isaac Newton to hide his work he had to hide his work to keep him from being discovered by the king 
as being an alchemist. And he did this while being the number one persecutor of alchemists in England at the time. In fact, he worked directly underneath the king to persecute people who were accused of alchemy, which at the time wasn't even a fucking thing. Like, yes, they discussed it, but we didn't learn how to, fu how to do nuclear fusion until like the late 1800s, early 1900s, I believe, is when, uh, when it was first postulated that we were able to fuse atoms. Or maybe it was a little bit after that. Maybe it was like 1940, 1950. But anyway, the, the whole idea was that these people in England were postulating this way before we were and didn't know what they were talking about. But the that's what the, the painting is, and I got a rendition of the painting. I didn't want the original painting, I just wanted a rendition of it. So, yes, I got that. And let's see, um, this right here, this tattoo, is done by a world-famous artist. Let me put it on full screen. His name's Zack Singer. He gets, like, it, you can't really tell but I'm because of the lighting and everything, but in those tiny, tiny, tiny ass skulls, and you can compare it to the size of my pinky right there, right? Those skulls have teeth in them and have cheekbones and everything like that. God did it with a tattoo gun. Uh, this one right here was done by a, name, a guy named Alex. Alex was a... Uh, he was an apprentice at the shop and he became really good and really popular and moved on but he's a good dude you know what i'm saying uh let's see this one is uh there's uh this is a i'm trying to remember what this is called where it's the circle inside the triangle with the square inside the triangle with the circle it's i think they call it squaring the circle when they put the square the circle inside the square and then the triangle goes all around the outside of the circle now this triangle around the outside of the the uh i mean this square in the inside of the triangle there's something i can't remember what it is that um there's a there's a mathematical relationship between that and something in quantum physics that has to do with the uh with how atoms decay uh regarding the square inside of the triangle i i can look that up there's it's it's crazy that we came up with this mathematical uh description of something we understand in reality the based on just a square and a triangle and it has to do with atoms let me see if i have any other significant ones that i care to show off this one right here i asked my friend to give me a uh what did i ask him to give me oh a dna helix that's what i asked him i said can i want the dna helix around my arm with the uh with the glow of earth in it and he was like you know i got an idea i want to put that dna helix with the molecule with the like a dna molecule on the inside of it which is not a dna molecule it's just a you know a molecular type thing that's on the inside of the dagger but it's supposed to represent you know like DNA and the humans and all that, man. So that's my tattoos. That's a few of them. I have a whole bunch of them on my chest and stomach and back and none of my legs, except for one that I did myself, which nobody will ever see. Doing art right over there, Bob? Oh, crap. Hold on. Oh, you did you mute yourself? Yeah, I did. I'm just oh, um, okay. kind of hanging in here, listening to the stories of your tattoos, man. And I have, like I said, I have a lot more, and I have several of them. Uh, I have several of them uh, planned. So, a Lyle Tur Tuttle tattoo. Ooh, I want to check that out. Huge Arnit, uh, huge anus, huge arse, huge anus. <laughs> All right. Bob, I think that's going to be where we end it tonight, man. What do you think? You think we've entertained the people enough? I think that they feel entertained. Yeah. I had Guys. a good time. I know that. It was really nice to just sit down and hang out for a while and kind of chill. It's not often I get to relax like that. Well, I don't bring you on on the show enough, and I think it's because most of my shows are kind of planned out, and we always try to have a guest already planned. Um, mm-hmm. But we need to have you on more, man. Like, I'm a big fan of yours, and we just need well, to have you on more. this just happened off. to work out. You, you were done with Craig, and I just happened to stop by, and somebody said that I was here. Next thing I know, I'm on the show. 
Well, if there's anything that you've said that is more true than anything else that you've ever said, it is, yes, that I am done with Craig. Uh, hopeless. Hopeless. Yeah. Uh, every time every time we talk about hanging out in real life, he's like, hey, I need you to push me around in my wheelchair. Has she seen the size of my arms? They're tiny. We'd never get anything done. Ever. Ever. So, fight. I'm sorry. I'm dropping you for someone that can walk on his own two feet. Bob, the science guy. That's right. That's right. That's Sorry, right. Fight. We got to stick together. America. 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 <laughs> You're so awesome, Bob. I love you, man. I truly do. You're an amazing fucking content creator, and I'm glad you're on YouTube with us, and I'm glad we're not having to deal with some other jackass. I learn a lot from you guys. I learn a lot from you guys. We just, learn from you, man. It's just amazing. We learn from each other, and I, you know, and the fans. To be honest with you, they're they're the whole reason that I do it. I mean, I just get such a kick out of interacting with folks out in the chat. Oh, I know. Just, I know. Yeah, isn't, it, isn't it awesome? Isn't it awesome? Like, yeah. I, I hate saying it because I feel like they they might think I'm pandering to them and saying, "Oh, yeah, I love you so much." When I really don't. No, it's that's not the case at all. I actually do like my chat. Um, I I go into other people's chat and I'll get criticized like about how I talk to people. And they're like, "Oh, you know, if you and oh, this is my favorite one, right? You should really go watch." Uh, Creaky Blinder or Simon Dan or Conspiracy Cats and follow their model. You'd have so many more subs. And I'm like, that would be me. That would not be me. Yeah. I would feel like a fake. At the end of the day, I would say, I'm Conspiracy Cats Jr. 2.0, 1.A. You know, what the fuck is all that about? I don't want to be Conspiracy Cats 1.8. I don't want to be Simon Dan 2.0. I don't want to be Bob the Science Guy redone and re-bigger and re-better. No, I don't want to be none of those guys. I want to be Team Skeptic 1.0. I want people to say I want to be like Team Skeptic and not be able to do it because I'm so goddamn unique, so goddamn fucking fluent in what I say and what I do and the science knowledge that I know that there is no replacing me. That's what that is. And that's why these people show up every night because that, they cannot, no matter how much they want it, they can't get it anywhere else but right fucking here. You know what I'm pointing at? I'm not talking to you, Bob. I'm talking to the, the, the chat here. They know what I'm talking about. They're right here on my lap because I love them and they love me back. You guys are amazing. Bob, do you have anything to say before we head out of here? Hey, thank you very much for having me on. It was an absolute blast just sitting here hanging with you, man. And let me, uh, I think I may have missed one super chat. Let me make sure I didn't miss that super chat. I'm going to leave my hand up until I get it out. Because if I don't leave my hand up, then it's just, yeah, I think I did miss one. Hold on one second. Oh, God, Red Cosmos Devil is fucking asking us questions that require discussion. I'm going to leave this up to you there. For $4.99, Bob, if you had to do, choose to be quarantined with one person, one Nathan. Susan Sarandon. No. Susan Sarandon's Susan first name Sarandon. is not Nathan, nor is her last name Thompson or Oakley. Who are you going with, Bob? Nathan Thompson or Nathan Oakley? <laughs> Did you hear the audio that came in? I wouldn't joke about anything else that happened tonight. That was beautiful and perfect. I would go probably with Oakley because there's a little more meat on his bones and I wouldn't go hungry. <laughs> you wouldn't you wouldn't go hungry or lonely or not warm. Well, at least until he took the uh the room temperature challenge, but I still want to go with I still want to go with Susan Sarandon though. She's got my vote. We can't all have what we want, Bob. Sometimes we just have to deal with the shit the Lord gives us. And unfortunately, in this situation, Jesus well, Christ has been always... so nice to bless you with Nathan Thompson or Nathan Oakley. Well, well, there's another one out there. What was I just Nathan had Roberts. her name and. 
No, there's Nathan Roberts, but that's not who I was. It's Sigourney Weaver. There's oh something God! About a six Aliens. Foot woman with a flamethrower. It just doesn't. I'm sorry, man. My my heart, my crush, my my childhood crush, and I will never, ever, ever get over this absolutely beautiful woman, uh, Kathy Ireland. Yes, I'm a boomer. I like Respect. the I like the nineteen the late eighties early nineties version of a beautiful woman, the curvy, um, little bit of meat on her bones. Uh, I like that type of woman. She gets me, Kathy Ireland. The Sam Kennison Wild Thing video. Yes. Yes. All right, so I, Bob, do you have anything else to add that you want to add before maybe we get out of here, or are you done? Thank you again for having me, man. It was great. Glad I got to meet some folks in your audience that maybe I hadn't had a chance to meet yet. Well, I definitely support Bob the Science Guy. So if you are asking me who I like to watch and who I would recommend for you to go watch, that guy right there, Bob the Science Guy. So that's where we're going to end it out for you guys tonight, man. It was a pleasure having every one of you out there tonight to watch us. Um, Again, this is just... This isn't debunking. This isn't science. This is stupidity. This is fun. This is enjoying life without having to go out to the bar and meet somebody. Just come here. Club Skeptic with Bob the Science Guy and Sean Hufford and FTFE and Radical and Brainy and Team Skeptic and all these other fucking classic dudes and Sir that Sick. you all have grown to love. And uh, what's that? And Sir Sick. And Sir Sick. We got to get Sir Sick in here. I, I'm going to hit him up and see if he'll come in here and ruin one of my fucking club skeptics. Uh, but guys, thank you terrible so much for coming out tonight. <laughs> if you were able to super chat, thank you so much. Uh, I recommend putting stuff back right now, uh, to be honest with you. As much as that might not sound like a smart thing for me to be recommending to my subscribers, I see what's coming. And uh, you guys need to save your money. If you see that I'm telling you the truth and not you agree and you still want to support, then go put my video on Facebook, go put it on Twitter, go put it on Reddit, go share it somewhere, go to my Team Skeptic official playlist and every night put it on play when you go to bed and when you wake up, put it on play again while you go to work. That helps me out. Things like that, that's a good way to put money in somebody's pocket and charge the people who are running the ads while you're not even watching. They will appreciate it. I will appreciate it. And your pocketbook will appreciate it. Outside of that, I did it wrong already. Fuck, man. I can't get my outro right, Bob. I try. I try. I'm Team Skeptic. And I'm out. Oh no, I'm on the wrong, ah, oh, this is going to be a fail. I'm not even on the right page. Like, I have to go find it out. I got to find which. Oh, there it is. I got it. All right, I'm out, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, not yet. Hold on, we had a, we had a $5 sticker from Stringer News 1. Thank you, sir, very much. I appreciate it, sir. And uh, that was perfect. Stringer News is amazing. He's there for all of us. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, I I know the behind the scenes that you do, man, and you are a good person. Thank you very much. You guys have, look, the music's ending. The music's ending. What does that mean, Bob? What does it mean when the music ends, Bob? What does it mean? We all have to sit down and get a chair. Time to get out of here. I'm out.